to Cheltenham. It's going to be taken from the centre of the ground by their skipper, Mick Goodchild. Uh, as well, I was saying. The siren hasn't gone yet, has no it? No siren. OK, Collingwood uh, Districts, I was just saying, uh, might apply some physical pressure. That looks like they have. The ball's down on the half-forward line here for Cheltenham. Stacks in over the middle there. Nobody can get it. That's, um, that's a little Moo Hartley in over it. Lots of scragging in there. Moo Hartley's just been thrown out of the pack. The umpires have run in, and uh, they're going to ball it up. But uh, a lot of scragging and physical stuff early, exactly as we predicted. John, who are you going for? Oh, I think uh, Collingwood Districts might just sneak in. <laughs> There's the bounce. Cross half back. Big Mullinger wins the tap down. Comes down to the ground. Nobody can get the ball out. In over it's Taylor. He's right over the top of the ball and uh, let's hope it's not the scrambly for the rest of the game but obviously a lot of ner nerves early and uh, both sides trying to get on top right from the outset. I think the, um, the umpires will have to watch the packs developing because uh, as you said Daryl it could get a bit willing in there and uh, the only way they're going to get uh, the game flowing is to give a couple of free kicks and uh, like we're seeing now at the moment that um, there's a big pack of players there and uh, sometimes the only way to, to get out of that is to give them a free kick. Yep. Give them a kick and open it right up. This is umpire David O'Hare. Pings the ball into the turf. Not the best of bounces. Knocked on there by Collingwood's Brad Hockey. Comes out towards uh, Chris Chant. He's pushed over the line in front of... Uh, 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 Dean Butterworth from Collingwood District and it's going to be a throw in right out, right out there on that half forward flank the wind's starting to pick up here a little bit at Bentley but still ideal conditions for football Mullinger oh right over the top who was that uh, Taylor bursting his way through with Salvador Salvador peels off a hand pass Collingwood District's into attack for the first time in the grand final right up towards centre half forward that was Barsley couldn't take the mark ball screamed the crowd and umpire Steve Cullen runs in and he's going to uh, ball it up. I'd say the way that wind's going at the moment, Daryl, it's probably uh, three to four goals now. Advantage, it's really picked up in the last half an hour or so. There's the bounce on the half forward line for Collingwood. Knocked away there by Bardsley. Nobody can get it clear. Pinged out of defence by Cheltenham. Straight into the waiting arms once again of uh, Michael Bardsley for Collingwood District. He has the ball about uh, eight metres inside the 50 metre mark. Well, probably not that far. He's probably, probably going to be kicking from just on 50 anyway. Should make the distance with this kick, Daryl. He's got the wind right behind him. Ferret Yeoman there making a lead, but uh, Bardsley backing himself as he, he kicks a long kick in towards the uh, the goal. It's uh, slightly offline and through for the first score of the game to Collingwood District Districts. That's a point to Michael Bardsley and Collingwood Districts lead by that solitary point. Waiting for, waiting for the ball to be brought back into play there uh, for Cheltenham and uh, the ball's kicked out. Oh, couldn't take the mark there. It was uh, Lane, but it's picked up by Cheltenham there through the agency of uh, Hartley and kicked down towards a half-forward flank. Collingwood District's in front, but uh, too close to the boundary line, and the ball will be uh, thrown in. Half-forward flank for Cheltenham out of side of the ground. One point on the board. There's the throw-in. Up they go. Comes down to Cheltenham here. This is Clark getting away. Drives in towards centre half forward. Here's an opportunity. Oh, that player's being scragged by his uh, Collingwood opponent. Snaffled out here by uh, Scott McKay. Gets it over quickly to Blaney. Blaney, a beautiful pass straight into... Who's that over there? Good child, is it? Looks like me. Good child. And he's taken the mark about uh, 30 metres out from goal. Wouldn't even be that far. John, to be about 25 metres out. That's not Mickey Goodchild. That's um, Sean Britt. Sean Britt. Sean Britt has the ball for the Rosellas. Going to be attempting to kick the first goal of the match. Comes in. Puts the ball. Oh, kicks straight into the man of the mark who actually marks it. Unbelievable. Goes over to Salvador. Salvador gets it out here to Carl Lane and Carl Lane takes the mark on the half-back flank for Collingwood District. Well, that's uh, probably nerves there, John. It was amazing reflexes that he did mark that ball because he kicked it into him pretty hard. Yeah. As, uh, as Lane kicks out the ball down towards the centre of the ground, but the uh, umpire O'Hare has given a free kick and it's gone to number 53 for Cheltenham. That's uh, Brad Clark. Now, Brad Clark's at uh, just short of centre half forward. A big kick in towards a full forward position there. Up they fly over the top, uh, picked up by Collingwood Districts. Gets it out to number 69. That's Sean Kearney. He gets it uh, over to his teammate and it's kicked down to the wing position. Goes over the players' heads. Leading in the race for the ball's number Beck. 45. That's Beck. He can't pick it up. He's paddling along in front of him, but it goes over the line and out of bounds. Half forward flank for. Collingwood Districts on the member side of the ground and they move that ball pretty quickly then, Daryl. Yes, yes. Beck's got that uh, Guernsey with hardly any number on it at all, John. So. Looks like someone's put it, had a go at it with the texter. He got the white out onto it. <laughs> it's 
doesn't make it any easier for us. <laughs> There's the throw in, knocked away there by Carney. Oh, it's volleyball at the moment. Mott goes for it. Also was uh, Greg Evans. Comes back here over the door. That's Shane uh, Taylor. Shane Taylor drives the ball down towards the forward line. Nobody can take the mark. Comes out there to where Beck's in after it again. Gets a hand pass back. Here's the opportunity for Butterworth. He loses it. It's on the ground. Rosella defenders piling on top of him. And umpire Steve Cullen runs in and says, I'm going to ball it up, fellas. Oh, it's uh, getting a bit willing down there. Mickey Goodchild saying you can't do that. In fact, I think he's giving a free kick, is he? No, he's going to ball it up. Very close. Right on Ooh, the line there. It's on, it's on over here. Chuck Yeoman in there What's uh, for Collingwood Districts. And uh, someone's down on the ground. I just can't quite pick up a number there. Not sure he's who sent somebody off here, I think, John. It's a free kick to Cheltenham and a send-off. A Collingwood Districts player has been sent off. Quite pick up who it is at the moment. I think it could be Beck. This is Mickey Goodchild, anyway, that has the ball uh, for Cheltenham. In the last line of defence. And very willing out there. I had a feeling no, that it's not was Beck. Chuck Yeoman. Yep, it's not Beck. Number five, I think it is, Darrell. Yep. Into the sin bin for... Uh, yep, certainly not Beck. 15 minutes. 15 minutes or 20 minutes? I, well, I don't know. I thought it was 15, but uh, yeah. last week they sent them off for 20, so... Mick you Good tell me. Mick Goodchild takes a kick. It's a what nice a kick. kick too. Went right up high in the air. It's uh, got to the set. Oh, big uh, leap there from Collingwood Districts. But uh, in front and taking the mark for Cheltenham was uh, Mike Zakas. He goes onto his right foot. In towards centre half forward. Pack of players there up over the top was Collingwood Districts. Punched it away. Number 20 there uh, for Cheltenham was Wall. Dean Wall couldn't get it away. And uh, umpire O'Hare has uh, awarded a free kick to Collingwood Districts. And I think it is uh, Mark Mott will take that uh, resultant free kick. Halfback flank for Cheltenham, uh, for uh, Collingwood That's Districts, and kicks it into the wards of wing position. Number 12 there, Brad, uh, Bardsley couldn't take it. It's picked up by Good Goodchild. Child's playing a great game already, John. He gets it over towards his teammate there, down towards centre half forward. I couldn't pick that player, and a good Blaney. mark, a good strong mark by Rick Blaney in front. At uh, He's just short of the 50 metre line. He'd be, uh, he'll probably kick from... Uh, Oh, 50 metre, 48, 50 metres out. He's directly in front, but uh, I think the wind might be a little bit too strong for him uh, to put it through at this stage. But 15 minutes, uh, Chuck Gaiman's been sent off for, John tells us. John Kelly tells us, John. 15 minutes, OK. And we're at the seven-minute mark of this first quarter. Coming up seven and a half minutes as uh, Rick Blaney comes in. Left foot kick. He's uh, dragged it across his body a bit, and we'll see it punched over the line and through for one behind, uh, which was a rushed score for Cheltenham. So it's one point each of two at the moment. We're eight and a half, or seven and a half minutes into this uh, first quarter and Collingwood District's kicking uh, with the agency of a, a three to four goal breeze. The huddle's formed and uh, the kick comes out towards, the, oh it's a good kick too, out towards the, um, it's nearly finished up at the wing that kick, it's picked up there by uh, Cheltenham and kicked down towards uh, number 16 there Britt. for Cheltenham, that's uh, Sean Britt, uh, he's hassled and pushed over the line and the uh, ball will be thrown in half forward flank for Cheltenham. You should have a bit of a blind spot here John if the Listeners will bear with us. Sometimes when it goes around on that uh, pocket, we can't see who's got it. Oh, Mallinger got high, got the knocked into Carney. Carney comes out for Collingwood District, gets it over to Hockey. Hockey quickly puts it onto his foot. Jelloff's up there, takes the mark, but the whistle's gone. Hit him after he kicked the ball, says uh, David O'Hare, and it'll be a free kick downfield here to Shane Taylor, the runner-up in the uh, best and fairest for 1995. Kicks the ball in towards the uh, centre wing. Nobody can take the mark. Falls to the ground. Tap forward. Moo Hartley gets it out. Oh, Carney was held. Play on. Chris Chant gets a quick hand pass. It's tough stuff in there. It was Thomas in there for uh, Cheltenham. Nobody can get it out. Hartley goes in after it again. But the umpire's going to ball it up, and it's right in front of us here on the centre wing. One goal, one apiece in this Division Two Grand Final. Class of the Titans, Cheltenham and Collingwood District. Steve Cullen bounces the ball into the turf. That's Big one point, Jellif. that's Darryl. Big Jellif gets a hand pass over to uh, uh, Chant. He can't take it. Beck gets a scrubbly kicker on the ground. Coming through his lane. Lane over to Taylor. Taylor back over there to uh, Beck. Here's the opportunity now for um, Mark Mott. He can't pick it up. Collingwood deep in attack. It's in their goal square virtually. And the umpire is going to call for yet another ball up right at the end of the square. Gee, they moved the ball well in Collingwood Districts and uh, just tapped it on, gave some nice hand passes, but uh, just couldn't finish off that good work. Yes. Ball being bounced right in the 10-yard uh, square. It's knocked there by uh, Collingwood Districts. Who couldn't get his kick uh, over the top. There was a Cheltenham player and a uh, bit of a stacks on the mill. Oh, he's paid holding the ball. Umpire Cullen. And a free kick will go to uh, number 18 for Cheltenham. And that's uh, Hartley. That's no, actually Thomas kicking Thomas, that one. Thomas, is it? Yeah. Thomas kicking no. out towards the half-back flank. 
in the uh, leading in the race for the ball was Carl Lane, but he couldn't get hold of it. It gets across there to, uh, I think that's number four, uh, paid a, a free kick, but the advantage paid all cop one high Carl Lane and will take the resultant free kick. He'd be 25, 30 metres out from goal. Um, it's a pretty acute angle. He's right on the boundary line there, but he's got the breeze behind him, so... Um, he fancies himself. He's going back a long way to have a shot for this goal. And this will register the first goal of the game if he can put it through. The vice captain from uh, Collingwood Districts comes in, keeps the ball low. It's not a bad sort of a kick, but uh, just oh, offline. Not much and noise down there, point. John. No. Collingwood Districts leading two points to Cheltenham, one point. Yeah, I called him one goal one before. I was going to say, I don't think anyone's kicked a goal yet. <laughs> ball brought back into play there uh, from uh, Cheltenham there couldn't take the mark, number five, that was uh, Thomas play on's a call, a bit of a stacks on the mill and umpire Steve Cullen races in and says give it to me fellas and we'll ball it up it's right on the 50 metre line in uh, Collingwood District's attacking zone Yes, I'll just clarify that John, two points to one point it is on the Mulgrave Tower and Mechanical Services scoreboard idiot before called it 1-1 <laughs> that was me that's 11 minutes into that first quarter Daryl as the ball's pushed over the line and out of bounds for a throw in and uh, we haven't progressed any further up the field it's, it's right on the 50 metre line out of side of the ground half forward flank for Collingwood Districts kicking and with the aid of a four goal breeze I'd say there's the throw in Big Mellinger got the ball down opportunity here for uh, uh, Collingwood to uh, work it forward through lane can't do so and it goes over the line and out of bounds it's on the half forward flank one point plays two points reasonably tame opening so far to the game a few uh, pushes and shoves there's the throw in oh right over the back was Taylor got a big thump this is uh, Thomas coming in gets it over in the direction here of uh, uh, Zagas Zarkas for uh, Cheltenham here's the opportunity for Brett White it goes over Carney's head it's uh, bouncing ahead of Brett White can he pick it up does so no he can't quite handle it under plenty of pressure Carney did it well comes out punches the ball into the ground still tapping it on the opportunity here for Mark Mott Mott taps it forward goes over Taylor's shoulder through to Hartley Moo Hartley takes it for Cheltenham showing his pace puts it onto his foot down here in the direction of Sean Britt can he get it can't quite pick it up plenty of hard stuff going on in there the umpire's blown the whistle and he's paying a free kick Collingwood District's way and uh, the player's still on the ground down there for Collingwood District. Ran into the broad shoulders of... Uh, I knew he'd get up, Daryl. I thought of, uh, he, he didn't get within eight feet of hitting him then. Of Jamie <laughs> he Ross. He got up and had a bit of a smile. <laughs> you reckon it was a bit of uh, Kerry Grant stuff, do oh, you? Oh, was it ever. I think this is Maurice, Maurice Salvador for uh, Collingwood District. Brings the ball round to the wing. Oh, just nicely knocked away in the nick of time there by Chant as it was going into uh, Carney's arms. Ball on the ground. Thomas in over the top. Umpires found another free kick and it's going Collingwood's way again. That's Jamie Walker, this fellow here, 45. Uh, I'm sorry, John. Jamie Walker, is Jamie it? Jamie Walker and Beck's got another very faded number. Just starting to uh, to pick them up now. Ball coming out here. This is Beck over the uh, top of the ball now. But it's taken beautifully there by uh, McKay for uh, Cheltenham. Drives the ball back in towards the centre. Nobody can take it. Could have nearly been a free kick to uh, Harrison there at Collingwood Districts. Play on. Comes out to Mark Mott. Mott scrubby kicking towards the forward line here's the opportunity for Yeoman Yeoman over there looking for uh, Bardsley but coming through strongly in defense was Cheltenham was uh, Chris Chant and he's uh, seen the ball over the line and out about uh, 15 meters around from the uh, Collingwood District goal fit off a beautiful hand pass uh, for uh, Yeoman there but his teammate just couldn't grab hold of that he was in the in the 10 yard square but uh, just couldn't get it as a ball thrown back into play <laughs> oh down goes number eight there for uh, District uh, it's uh, Phillips but uh, very scrambly here and the umpire will come in and ball it up again that bruise has really sprung up, Daryl. We can feel it up here. It's uh, you may be able to hear it going through the microphones. Yeah, you can feel but, it uh, uh, when it does spring up. It uh, goes through the mics a bit, and the listeners could probably pick that up. The bounce, Mullinger high, gets it down here. Oh, nearly a push in the back there to uh, Butterworth. Play on, so, so the umpires. Collingwood District's trying hard to uh, keep it in that forward line. It's very scrambly play at the moment. And uh, umpire Steve Collins picked out a free kick here. It's, here it's going Cheltenham's way, and it'll go to uh, Thomas. Was it umpire O'Hare said that he was going to run Steve Collin ragged? Wasn't that was uh, Campbell Addison? I'm sorry. Yes, yes. He, he's doing a good job at the moment. <laughs> the ball here. comes over to Lane. Lane, the vice captain, has a ping at goal. He's uh, kicked it into the goal square, punched away there by the Cheltenham defenders, but it goes straight to uh, the Collingwood Districts player. Keeney there, can't pick the ball up. He's running it in front of him. He's tried to uh, to get it away there. Could have given away a free kick, but it was on the blind side of umpire Cullen. It's got out of uh, defence there, have it uh, picked up by number 29. That's uh, Pecquier and uh, he can't get it away. 
Play on's a call. He's grabbed it again, Pecquier. Kicks it out towards the half forward flank. Out of side of the ground. Number 12 in there for Collingwood Districts. Couldn't pick it up, Bardsley. And the ball's forced over the line and out of bounds for another throw in. Collingwood Districts leading two points to one point. And we've played uh, 15 minutes into this first quarter. There's the throw in on the half forward flank. Mullinger and Jellof in ruck comes down to Hartley. Hartley kicks it straight into the waiting arms of Mark Mott of Collingwood Districts. He has the ball just inside the centre square. Had a few kicks this quarter, Daryl. Very creative player, Mark Mott. Can be very damaging. There's the big kick right up into the goal square. High flyers wanted. Went through uh, the, the uh, hands there of Zakas. Finally, it's uh, seen over the line and out, and it's about 20 metres around from the Collingwood District goal. One point plays two points on the Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services scoreboard. There's the throw in. Mullinger near again, but it was uh, Taylor that went high and thumped the ball in towards the Collingwood goal square. Coming out in defence there was uh, Terry McKinley. McKinley's big, long torp out towards the centre wing for Cheltenham. Ball off the pack. Opportunity for Carl Lane. Carl Lane still pushing it on ahead and running in to meet it there uh, was Paul Fielding for Cheltenham. But once again, it's over and out. A lot of the play over on that um, wing and half-forward side and the outer side of the ground, John, in this first it's quarter. Been, it's been over there all quarter, Darrell. Yes. Um... There's a ball uh, thrown back in. Play on the call there. Lane couldn't get hold of it for uh, Collingwood District. And uh, he's caught the Cheltenham player too high. And uh, the free kick will be uh, Cheltenham's way. It's on the half-back flank. And I think there's a magnet in that ball in that pocket, Daryl. Yes, that's, I say, a lot of the play's been over there, that's for sure, in this uh, first quarter. Just waiting now for uh, Paul Fielding to get the ball back to Mick Goodchild and Goodchild will take his kick uh, right from the 50 metre line on the half back flank for the Rosellas there's the kick, beautiful kick too he's a good kick of a footy, Mick Goodchild right out towards the centre wing, uh, nobody can take the mark, a few claimed it but it's uh, once again knocked over the line and out of bounds right in front of the, uh, the scoreboard and the big 88.3 Southern FM banner and Ball thrown back into play there. Uh, no one got a decisive knockout, but it was picked up there by Chris Chant and kicked forward for uh, Cheltenham. Number 29 in there is Pecquier. Fernando Pecquier for the districts, but he couldn't get it away either. Ooh. There's a, uh, a wall of players there. Number 46 comes out of it. That's Harrison. He kicks it in towards the centre of the ground, but it's sharked by a Cheltenham player. Couldn't barge his way through the pack. Goes over to Lane. He gets a kick up towards the centre of the ground there. No one can take the mark. Play on's a call. In there was Hartley, Ooh. and uh, he's uh, offloaded as he kicked it, and it goes down towards a half forward. Play on's a call there. Hand pass from the Cheltenham player over towards uh, Scott McKay. Fine. He gets a hand for a pass further afield into uh, towards number 20 is Dean Moore, and uh, he couldn't get his uh, his kick in, and the ball's over the line and out of bounds, and uh, we're just a bit ready to get blown off here, Daryl. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Uh, wind starting to cause a little bit of trouble for us up here as we're waiting for the ball to be thrown back in. And if that wind is bringing up, it means that Cheltenham are doing a pretty good job at the moment, John. That's Taken certainly here is. by Blaney. Blaney snaps in towards goal. Can it be Cheltenham's first? But it's offline and true for one behind only. And it uh, takes Cheltenham now to two points. Two points apiece on the Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services scoreboard. And uh, Scoring very, very hard to come by in this uh, in this first quarter at the moment. Run by our very good friend, John Burgess. Yes, a good mate out there at Mulgrave. He'll certainly look after you. Goes for the short kick in the full back in towards Lane, but it uh, bounced just before him. Claimed there by the Cheltenham player, but uh, play on was a call. Couldn't have, could have nearly got a free kick there. Co uh, Collingwood District's doing it a little bit hard there down in the back line, and they're fumbling. Kicked it across goal there, but it goes towards... Oh, Mick Goodchild couldn't grab hold of it. Picked up by number 16, Britt. He has a flying shot for goal, and it's hit the top of the point post, but... Uh, could be a free. Umpire... Uh, Brendan, uh, no, it's not. It's O'Hare. Umpire O'Hare has said that uh, it's a free kick to Mick Goodchild, and um, he hasn't moved since he's. Uh, no, sorry, that wasn't Goodchild. It was. Um, I think it's Sean, Sean Britt, Britt, I think. Britt, it is. I think yeah. He certainly hasn't moved since the uh, since he was put down there, and uh, looked like a fair hip and shoulder bump, but. Um, Well, I didn't even see it, John. I couldn't. Uh... Uh, waiting for a. Um... We're waiting for um... the umpire here. There's a big pack of players. Uh, it's definitely a free kick to uh, Sean Britt for Cheltenham, and he'd be uh, oh, 30 metres out on a 50, 60 degree ankle. A bit of pushing and shoving out there too, but uh, Britt will come in and try and register the first major for the game. 
20 minutes into this first quarter, two points each of two as Brit, uh, Brit comes in as a shot. One behind and again. It's offline for one behind. Behind there to Sean Britt, um, and they're do doing an excellent job, job uh, kicking into this breeze. Well, it just depends how uh, uh, stiff this breeze is out there, John, but if it's a reasonably big factor, well, uh, you've got to say Cheltenham are doing well at this stage. Oh, certainly. Three points plays two as the kick comes back in. Up they go. Goes through Mullinger's hands. Falls to the ground. Opportunity for Brett White. Traps the ball nicely. Kicks it in. Here's, the, here's a chance for uh, Clark. He can't quite mark it. Oh, very heavily tackled that Cheltenham player. Collingwood District's coming out in defence. That was um, Mark Gill couldn't get his kick. Very hard to get the ball out. Britt tunnels it out. Grabbed here by uh, Mullinger. Too high, I think, says the umpire. Players are running in again. This is ridiculous. It doesn't help anybody. And uh, there's stacks on the mill there again. A lot of pushing and shoving. And these fellows want to be very careful because I tell you what, if they get ordered off, they're going to put their team at a very big disadvantage. Well, they didn't fiddle around in the seconds, Daryl. It was, no. uh, if you played up, you were straight off. Comes out here to a running Carl Lane. They switch play across to the outer side of the ground. Lane drives around towards uh, the centre wing. That was Beck underneath it. Goes in after it again. Falls over the line with the ball. And the umpire's going to throw it in. It's right in front of the scoreboard, which shows 3-3, three, three, uh, three points uh, Cheltenham, two points uh, Collingwood. And we're 21 minutes uh, into this first quarter as number 12 there for the Districts. Bardsley couldn't get the ball out. It's forced along there by uh, Collingwood Districts. Cheltenham in there defending, uh, but uh, there's a big pack of players. Play on's a call. Picked up by number 25. That's Taylor. He gets it across to uh, his teammate there. Collingwood Districts battling for it, but it's out towards a uh, half-forward flank. No one can get uh, a clean kick or hand pass and uh, there's a lot of fumbling going out there there's stacks on the mill the umpire you'll have to ball it up he let that go too far then umpire steve cullen bounces the ball in there for uh, collingwood districts was number 27 that's butterworth it's a scrambly old game at the moment it's terrible always oh, paid a free kick to collingwood districts and that will go to um I think that might be Crawley out there. Gets a kick in towards centre half forward there. Uh, Kearney couldn't take possession of the ball. Cheltenham defending beautifully at the moment. Punched away there in towards the direction of uh, McKay for Cheltenham. He gets a kick out towards a half back flank. Collingwood District's leading in the race for the ball, but it's going to beat him over the line and out of bounds. That was a good call. And there's a, uh, a Collingwood District player run into uh, Scott McKay from Cheltenham and. Uh, he uh, went down like a proverbial bag of spuds, Daryl. <laughs> Up they go. No one takes it. Clark takes it uh, out of the air for uh, for Cheltenham. Gets it over here to uh, O'Brien. O'Brien kicks in towards the centre. Goes over the head of uh, Peter Goodchild. Kicks it off the ground. Trying to keep uh, the ball in front of him. Still does so. Traps it nicely. Oh, gets a hand pass back that didn't uh, do too much for the team. And there's a kick out coming out here to uh, Carney. Carney takes the mark. In towards centre half forward. Up they go. Nobody can take it. Comes over the back to Bardsley. Bardsley's kicking towards goal. Looks like the first goal of the match. And it is to Collingwood Districts as they go now to 1-2-8. Leading Cheltenham three behinds. And you're listening to the grand final on 88.3 Southern FM. And it's proudly brought to you by Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services. And uh, good play there by Collingwood. And uh, Cheltenham want to be careful they don't uh, have a run of goals here, John. They certainly do, Daryl. And that took 23 minutes, that first goal. First goal of the game, 23 minutes into the first quarter. Back in the centre, here we have uh, Ashley Crawley going up in the ruck. Oh, no one got a decisive knockout. It uh, comes out to uh, number 11 there. That's uh, McKay. He can't get a clean ball away. Oh, it's a scrambly game here, and there's... Uh, Eight or nine players in and around that ball there as umpire Cullen comes in and decides to bounce it right in front of the uh, the commentary position uh, in the centre of the ground. And that wind's dropped again, John. It's, it's it incredible. Drops, it just yeah, gusts every and, now and then. Drops away and then comes back. Umpire Cullen bounces a ball. Mullinger gets a tap down. Comes out here in the direction of uh, Addison for uh, Cheltenham. Gets it over to Mick Goodchild. Goodchild's kick up towards the half-forward line. Here's a chance for Hartley. Can he get out with the ball? Does so. Got a wall of Collingwood players in front of him, but kicks down towards the full forward line. Opportunity now for Blaney. Blaney battling on in front of Greg Evans. Gets a hand pass out. Running in now to pick it up is uh, Peter Goodchild. He can't get it. Taken away here by uh, Chuck Yeaman. It can't be Chuck Yeaman. I thought he was off. No, 20 minutes. He 
would have. He was off in the first couple of minutes. Anyway, so the ball's uh, brought back around here by Cheltenham and will eventually go over the line and out of bounds. And it's only around about uh, 25 to 30 metres around from the Cheltenham goal. And uh, doing reasonably well into this breeze. If they could get a goal against it, it would certainly uh, set them up for a, uh, a big second quarter. 20. Waiting for the throw in. Sorry, John. 25 minutes uh, just coming into time on Darrell as, uh, as the ball is uh, got away there from Chuck Yeoman. He gets it down towards Lane. No, he didn't mark that one. It was uh, hit the grass first. He gets a scrubby kick in towards oh. the centre of the ground, but it's missed there by the Cheltenham player. Number 33. It's picked up there by a Chris Chant. He kicks it well deep into the forward pocket there. The pack Ooh. flies. No one could take it. Blaney was in there. Couldn't get his, uh, his kick. Collingwood Distri District's defending. Picked up there by... Uh, Oh, and, uh, oh there's a Greg Evans tackled very, very strongly. And it's right on the edge of the 10 metre square, and uh, he will take the free kick. A little bit of undisciplined play by no, no, it's a ball up. Is it? Oh, yeah. I thought he had the free kick there. Yeah. No, it was a good tackle. It was a very strong tackle, but a very good tackle. He had the ball and... I uh, thought he might have got him a little bit high, but... Uh, Cheltenham worked very hard to keep it in their forward line then, John, which, uh, which is what they've got to do. Waiting for uh, Greg Evans to do up his boot here, much to the uh, delight of the Cheltenham supporters. <laughs> There's the bounce of the ball right on the edge of the square. They go. It was uh, Sean Britt jumping over the top. Nobody can take it. It's right under. It's a bit more like rugby, This uh, a lot of this first quarter so far. A lot of uh, rugby scrums. Very scrambly. Players tackling very, very hard, not wanting to let the other side uh, get a slight break in this grand final. Neither side giving an inch either, Daryl. Steve Cullen bounces on the edge of the square again. Oh, Britt goes up high, but uh, before acceptances, that's a kick off the ground there. Out of the pack by Cheltenham. I didn't see who did it, but it's only a behind. I think I might have been uh, Sean Britt. Oh, look, there's still pushing and shoving going on down there as we uh, see Cheltenham move along to four behinds to Collingwood District's one goal, two, eight on the Mulgrave and Mechanical Services scoreboard. Ball kicked over in the direction of Pecquier, and uh, it's going to beat him uh, over the line and out of bounds. Half forward flank for Cheltenham. And uh, we're coming up to 27 minutes into this first quarter. Yeah, One goal, two, car. eight. Leads uh, Cheltenham four points on the Mulgrave service and mechanical scoreboard. The Mulgrave tyre and service, mechanical services. Umpire Steve Cullen will come in and ball. I think I've seen too, as many bounce downs as... Uh, no, I think the umpires be... Uh, just about worn out. Just about getting blown away up here. <laughs> yeah, just hang on to the scaffolding there, John. The bounce of the ball right on the half-back flank. Jellop goes up high there for uh, for Cheltenham. And uh, the umpire's picked a free kick out. And it's going Cheltenham's way, right on the half-forward flank. This looks like, uh, like Big Sean Britt again. Uh, he'll drive Cheltenham right into attack. Right up to centre half forward. Oh, high was uh, Blaney. Couldn't take the grab. Addison's in over the top of it. The Collingwood defence working hard. They've locked it up again there at centre half back. And it looks like being yet another ball up. And we're right towards the end of this second quarter. How, many, how long was that, John? Uh, 28 minutes gone, Daryl, in this first quarter. One goal, two, eight. Collingwood District's leading Cheltenham four points. Ball bounced down there. It's uh, halfway between centre half forward and a full forward position. Chuck Yeoman gets a kick away. It goes to his teammate there in, in Gill. He gets a kick, but there's no one home for Collingwood Districts, and the mark was taken by Addison. Addison uh, gets a oh. hand pass over to his teammate, but he butters up nicely. Oh, he's running all wall of Collingwood District players as it uh, has driven down towards a half forward flank there for um, the districts by Butterworth. In there was. Uh, Zakas. Zakas. And he gets uh, a blind turn away there. He gets down towards his, uh, his uh, sentiment there. Oh, there's going to be a collision there between Yeaman and uh, McKay. But uh, they come out of the ball, uh, out of the uh, centre through Mark Mott. It goes over the players' heads there. Number 45. Oh, kicked a kick there towards uh, goal. And they just couldn't convert their uh, Collingwood Districts. And there's the siren for quarter time, and we see Collingwood Districts 1-3-9, leading Cheltenham four behinds. Back here at Bentley for more shortly. Today's grand final coverage is brought to you by... Mo He's off now, and everybody's happy. So, uh, waiting now for the start of the second quarter. Can Cheltenham use this light breeze, or will it still be nip and tuck at half time? There's the siren. 
Steve Cullen holds the ball aloft. He's going to pound it into the white powder here at Bentley. And up she goes. Jelliff up against Mullinger. Jelliff wins a tap over to Hartley. Hartley straight over to Clark. Clark down towards uh, the full forward line for Cheltenham. Punched away by Carney in defence there for uh, Collingwood Districts. Working hard. Now that's uh, Britain there after it again. Chuck Yeaman trying to get the ball out. He can't do so. Comes to Salvador. Gets a quick kick over to Mullinger. Mullinger tapping it forward over here to Taylor. Mick Goodchild meets him hard. Comes back to Mullinger. He's tackled. Gets rid of it quickly. In over the top again. Cheltenham working hard. Comes out to Britt. Britt will feed a hand pass off here to Clark. Clark can't quite get rid of it. Very scrambly football. Out on that half forward flank on the outer side again. And it's going to be bottled up. And it's going to be yet another ball up. Got over there very quickly again, John. Very scrambly though, Daryl, isn't it? Yep, the players just aren't able to uh, dispose of that ball. As soon as they get it, they're tackled. It's like a hot potato. Whoa, that's got to be far too high. And that'll be a free kick to Cheltenham. And that's only about uh, 40 metres out from goal. Well, he pulled his head right off. Is that, uh, I think that Sean might be uh, Clark. Yes. Yep, that's Brad yes. Clark has the ball out there. Tucked under the arm. He's been a, uh, a great player for them this year, Brad Clark. Kicked a lot of goals. This could be a very, very important goal, Daryl, if, uh, if Clark can kick this. He comes in, lines it up. Kicked it from just on 50 metres. It's a beautiful kick, but uh, there's not much reaction behind the crowd. Yep. And uh, they've called it correctly because it's a point. So uh, they just can't get a goal on the, on the scoreboard at the moment, Cheltenham, and that's their fifth point. So they trail five points. They're trailing uh, Collingwood Districts 139 as the ball's kicked out here in the direction of Salvador. He chips it over the top to uh, Kearney. Kearney takes a mark. He gets around his opponent. He gets a kick right in front of the wing position down towards number eight there. That's Hockey. Hockey leading in the race for the ball, but it's picked up beautifully by Paul O'Brien for Cheltenham. He gets onto the oh. left foot. Oh, he's kicked it out in the full, I think. Yes, he has, and uh, he undid all that good work by... Uh, a lazy left foot kick over the line and out of bounds on the full as Keeney kicks it into the goal square there. It goes over Yeaman's head. Play on's a call. Danger. Thomas uh, couldn't get hold of the ball. He can't get it away to his teammate. But it's uh, it's picked up there and gets over, get it over to uh, Mickey Goodchild Whoa. from, uh, from uh, Cheltenham. And he was unloaded as he kicked it. And there's a free kick downfield and uh, Mick Goodchild hasn't moved. Has another one been sent off? And in fact, he's being reported, I think. Is that... Um, now, good child has not got up. Let's hope he's okay, John. Yes, the free kick's gone uh, so, further down. There's just no need for this. It's on the wing position there as it balls kick them towards centre half forward. Oh, up over the top there was White, couldn't take the mark. But uh, Harrison for Collingwood Districts does so. He gets it out towards Keeney. Keeney gets a kick over towards Mark Mott, but he couldn't get hold of the ball. It's picked up by Paul O'Brien for Cheltenham. He gets a short kick in, and the ball is on the half forward line, and a mark taken there by Sean Britt. Now Sean Brittle kick from uh, 45 uh, metres out. He's on a 45 degree angle. We're right in line with this. He's kicking to towards the centre road end and uh, he has a stiff breeze behind him. So Sean Britt, he's kicked two points. He's lining up for, uh, for his first goal and Cheltenham's first goal. He comes in now. It's a nice looking kick too. And I think he's put it through. Yes, he's, he's got that, that in. And that's a goal to uh, Cheltenham. Their first for the day. So uh, we see the scoreboard now, 1511 Cheltenham, leading Collingwood Districts 139, and we're three coming up to four minutes into this uh, second quarter, and uh, that's what Cheltenham have got to do, Darrell. They've got to get the ball and kick it long. Well, that's what's going to win this game of football. That's what's going to win the premiership, is uh, kicking the footy through the post, not, uh, uh, not worrying about... Uh the physical stuff. I didn't see. I didn't quite see who uh, who was sent off uh, from. Yeah, well, Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor. He's off for 15 minutes. The ball's bounced back in the centre. Uh, Mick Goodchild still not looking too good in the hands of the trainers. Comes to the ground here. Hartley's in over the top of it. It's uh, pushed out of here towards Goodchild. Oh, he runs into Yeaman. Coming out, going through hard was Addison. Oh, Moo Hartley, Moo Hartley at least uh, tackling very hard there. Nick Goodchild coming off for uh, Cheltenham as this ball's kicked over towards uh, Bardsley and Bardsley will just drop back and take the mark at centre half forward on his chest for Collingwood District. He judged that well then. Just back back nicely and uh, you could see that ball was going over the Cheltenham player's head. He just took a couple of steps back and uh, let it fall into the arm. So uh, this is Bardsley. He's already, uh, already kicked one. He's kicked their, uh, their only goal so far. Ooh. Mick Goodchild's head. Waiting there, yes, he's got uh, blood streaming down one side of the face, Mick Goodchild. He'll be okay, but uh, 
It's got to come off because of the blood rule anyway. Got a nasty cut there. And we're waiting now for uh, for Barzi to take his kick as trainers attend to uh, Good Child inside the boundary line here. Michael Bardsley for Collingwood Districts comes in. And there's the kick that it's offline and it's gone to the left of the behinds and uh, through for another behind. So that's Collingwood Districts now. 1-4-10, trailing Cheltenham, 1-5-11 on the totally independent financial services scoreboard. There's the uh, kick in from McKinley. Oh, early acceptance is up. Comes down to Mott. There's all Collingwood Districts here. They've got a paddock in front of them as Brad Hockey comes in. He's taking his time picking it up, though. Uh, he... Uh, Pedals it on over here to Beck. Beck's kick marked safely in the last line of defence by McKinley of Cheltenham. There's the kick from uh, McKinley over here looking for Clark. Clark takes the mark. Plays on immediately. Runs around that half-back line. Looking in here for McKay. Now over McKay's head to Britt. Britt takes the mark. He'll run inboard. He's kicking towards centre half forward. Leading out was Jamie Ross. He's punched away with a Collingwood defence. Taken here by Salvador. Salvador up towards centre half forward. Thomas in there, taken by Beck. He's tackled. Hartley has it. He's tackled by Hockey. And the umpire's going to ball it up. Says you didn't have a chance. And it's about uh, 55 metres out from the Collingwood goals. 1-5-11 plays 1-4-10 in a very, very tough and ragged grand final here at Bentley. There's the ball. Bounced into the centre, into the turf by Aha. Knocked away by Mellinger. White's in there. Clark's in there. Comes back towards Brett White. He'll pick it up. Gets a hand pass over to Hartley. Put him under a lot of pressure. Hartley knocks the ball back out of Yeoman's hands and it's over and out right in front of our commentary position. Ball thrown in, as Daryl said, right in front of our commentary position. We'll see uh, Jaleff and uh, Crawley go for the ball, but it uh, gets down towards uh, Chuck Yeoman. He couldn't get hold of it. It's picked up by McKay. He spin, tries to spin out the pack. It's on the bottom of the pack. They're all Cheltenham players going in hard and uh, Collingwood appealing for a free kick, but... Uh, wasn't to be, an umpire over here will come in and ball it up. On the bottom of the pack there was um, Cheltenham player Ross, I think it might have been. No, it wasn't. It was uh, Hartley. Free kick there against the, um, the Cheltenham Ruckman. Uh, sorry, against the Collingwood Districts Ruckman, and uh, it will go to uh, Big Gillette. Tiny. It's a big kick in towards the uh, full four position. They go up high, but over the top was uh, always paid a free kick for a push out. The uh, Collingwood District player not too happy about that, but uh, umpire Steve Cullen has decided he'll give the kick to uh, Rick Blaney for Cheltenham, and he would be uh, 35 metres out directly in front with a stiff bruise behind him. So uh, might give Cheltenham a little bit of a break here if, uh, if Blaney can put this through. Just asking where the mark is, but uh, she's gone back a long way as Rick Blaney comes in. Left footer, it's a nice kick too. Uh, has he snuck it in? Yes, he has. He snuck it in for uh, his first goal and uh, Cheltenham second. And the score, 2-5. 17 points, Cheltenham leading uh, Collingwood Districts, 1-4-10. And we're at the eight-minute mark of the second quarter. Totally Independent Financial Planning Proprietary Limited are proud to be associated with today's coverage. Specialising in independent advice on investment strategies, retirement planning, superannuation, rollovers and tax minimisation, they can be contacted on 95639969. Totally Independent Financial Planning Proprietary Limited, supporting 88.3 Southern FM. Back here at Bentley, the ball on the uh, half-forward line for Cheltenham as they're into attack again after kicking that goal from Blaney, and the ball will be thrown in. It's only about 15 metres around from the Cheltenham goal. Opportunity for Cheltenham to uh, get a bit of a break here as Mullinger goes up, gets the ball to the ground. Collingwood working hard to get it out. Can't do so. Carney's in there, taps it forward. He's tackled. Comes over here to... Uh, Let's see who that was. Kicks it out towards Chant anyway. That was Shane Taylor got it over to... Uh, to uh, it was Harrison got it over to Chant. Chant's taken the mark here for Cheltenham. He'll drive the ball deep back into attack now. There's the kick right up towards the uh, full forward line for Cheltenham. Knocked away. Snapped here by Thomas. But I think it's uh, not quite where he wanted it to go. It's through from behind. Only a quick snap there by Anthony Thomas. And, uh, yeah, we just see Mick Goodchild down on the boundary line here. They've cleaned him up and uh, they've uh, just about to... Uh, Put some tape on him, and I think we'll see him back on the ground very shortly, well, Darrell. I certainly hope so. 2 6 18 plays 1 4 10 on the totally independent financial services scoreboard. 
Waiting for the ball to be brought back into play by Greg Evans, the uh, Collingwood District fullback. Do you think this huddle does any good, anything for the uh, any advantage for the, the side that's kicking in, Daryl, or not? I uh, don't know. It, look, I think it's probably uh, it's all right when it's reason when it was reasonably new, but now that everybody does it, I, I think it might have lost its uh, effectiveness a bit. We see a big uh, nearly every player um, forward of the centre is, is at centre half forward. Now they go. Kicks ball, out. Ball kicked out to uh, Carl Lane for Collingwood Districts. Takes a mark and a half back flank. He kicks it over the top in the direction of Barsley. He couldn't take the mark. It spills over the top of the pack and it's out of bounds half forward flank on the uh, member side of the ground for Cheltenham. And we'll see a result in throw in. Crawley will do the uh, the ruck work. Oh, it's knocked out uh, over the top there by Jaleff. He gets it down towards a teammate there, Kenny for the districts. He gets a right foot kick over the top oh. there. Couldn't take the mark for uh, for Zarkas. He's got the ball now. Gets onto his left boot. Kicks it down towards uh, oh. half forward, the wing position for Cheltenham. Mark taken there by Jaleff, but he gives it over towards uh, White. White kicks it into centre half forward. There's a pack of players. Oh, nearly a throw there from the Cheltenham player. That was Blaney. Gets a high kick in towards a full forward position. Oh, there's a mark claimed there by Collingwood Districts. And uh, right in the last like line Harrison of defence. Harrison again, John, I think. Harrison will uh, take the kick. Last line of defence. Goes for the short. Very dangerous. Oh, dangerous oh, it is. Uh, Britt's marked it. Sean Britt coming over the top. And yeah. uh, it's going to be a very, very costly kick, that. Mick Goodchild uh, cleaned him up. Cleaned well, him up. And he's wearing, he'll be wearing number 52 when he comes back to John. So... He's had to put the new Guernsey on because of the blood rule, I suppose. But um, that was a very, very costly kick. He went for the short, kicked it across the face of goal. The ball held up a little bit, and Sean Britt took a, uh, a beautifully judged mark. He it was a fingertipper, and he'll kick from uh, 25 metres out directly in front, and this is going to hurt Collingwood Districts. 2-4-16, Cheltenham. Uh, sorry, 2-6-18 to 1-4-10 as he comes in. Ooh, I think he's put it through. The, the crowd likes it. They do. And that's Cheltenham's third goal. 3-6-24 Cheltenham. Leading Collingwood Districts 1-4-10. And we're 12 and a half minutes into the second quarter. And that's uh, Sean Britt's second goal. He's kicked two. Blaney's kicked one. And the solitary goal kicker for Collingwood District, Michael Bardsley. So 3-6-24. 3-2 to one point this quarter from Cheltenham. So, uh, yes, John, they are making the most of that breeze as we suggested they might. They're putting the ball this up in the air, a... they're just kicking it long, putting it up in the air and giving their forwards the, the chance to get underneath it and mark it. And whatever spills to the bottom of the pack, the little smaller blokes are uh, there to get it. Up they go. Carl Lane actually went for the knock then. It uh, comes back to him out of that scrimmage. Fielding gets tackled and he'll in fact take the free kick for being too high. This is Paul Fielding from Cheltenham. About to put the Rosellas back into attack. They could really take the game by the scruff of the neck in this quarter if they uh, can uh, use their forward set up properly. This ball's come straight through to Blaney. Blaney feeds a hand pass off, but it was a bad one looking over there for Hartley. Hartley under plenty of pressure now, and he's copping plenty of pressure from the uh, Collingwood defenders trying to get that ball out. Coming out, uh, working hard, was Jason King now for uh, Collingwood District. Comes back over to Yeaman. Yeaman a hand pass over to Evans. Well, they're fiddling, and finally it's knocked over the line and out by Cheltenham. But an opportunity there for Cheltenham in attack then, John. And uh, poor, poor hand pass and, uh, yeah, quite a few mistakes down in that passage of play. I think the reason Collingwood Districts are making a lot of mistakes is Cheltenham's putting them un under an enormous amount of pressure. Yeah. The ball comes down towards uh, Lane, I think that is. Gets a Mott. kick. Uh, no, it was Mark yep. Mott. Gets a kick over towards um, number 33 uh, is uh, Leslie. In uh, defence there was uh, was Chant. Cheltenham uh, Chant, was it? Gets it down. Oh, big fly there from number 53. That play was uh, Brad Clark, but it's play on. A kick out here from uh, in, the, in the direction of Keane. He can't take the ball for Collingwood Dust Districts. He does so now, but I thought he threw that. Uh, I thought he, he was a bit lucky to get that because uh, was holding the man, but I thought he threw it. That was against uh, White as Kenny brings the ball. Kicks it up towards the centre wing position. Member side oh. of the ground. No one could take the mark. Play on the call. A throw there from uh, Cheltenham. Comes out towards Mott. He gets a hand pass. Ball caught a bit high there. Play on the call. In there was... Um, it's... Um, Good child, Peter Good child. It beats a pack of players. Zach is down. Oh, it's on in the centre here too. There's a big pack of players. Zach uh, is down. Play on's a call. The umpire's uh, letting the play go. A hand pass over there from uh, Hartley. No one can pick it up from uh, from Cheltenham, but uh, number 34 there. Number 44 is in there. Jamie Ross, he can't get the ball away. And Mark Mott has just been sent off. 
Collingwood Districts will throw this game away with a complete lack of discipline if they keep going. Play on's a call there as it comes to Kenny. He's been a good player for uh, Collingwood Districts, but um, there was a bit of a blind spot. We just couldn't see what was going on there, but uh, there's been so. Uh, well, well, Zachus, Zachus of Cheltenham, I think, was. Uh, I didn't see what happened, but he went down holding his head and he has come off the ground. Okay, thank you very much, DA. DA says there might have been a uh, bit of an elbow in there somewhere from someone. I don't know, probably accidental. Let's hope it was. Ball coming out towards the uh, Taylor here on the half forward line for Collingwood Districts. Fueling in there, battling hard. Comes back out to Thomas. In after it's Jamin. Out here to O'Brien. O'Brien takes it for Cheltenham there. They're working that ball across to the outer side of the ground. It's right out in open space. Thomas out after it for Cheltenham. He's against two of them. Lane's in there. Kicked off the ground here by Taylor. He dives on the ball now. Trying to tap it on to the Cheltenham players. They're out into open territory now with McKay if he can pick it up. Does so. Feeds a hand pass back. That's over in the direction of um, O'Brien again. O'Brien looking down there for Clark. And Clark stretches out the arms and takes the mark on the half-forward flank for the Rosellas. Didn't they move that ball quickly then? Moved it very well right across the half-back line and down that outer space is on the wing. And this is Clark has the ball. He's uh, it's on a fair bit of an angle here. But it looks like he's going to have a go. Certainly within kicking distance. There's the kick. It's actually gone across the face of goal. That was uh, King couldn't take the mark for Collingwood District. Uh, yes, in fact, he has been paid the mark by umpire Cullen. And this is King. Kicks in towards the uh, centre-half back position proper. And uh, it, the mark's taken there by Yeaman. Collingwood Districts working hard to keep out this Cheltenham attack. There's a kick right out towards the, uh, the boundary line and it's going to bounce over. Now it's just kept into play nicely by uh, Carl Lane of Collingwood Districts. Trapped here by Dean Wall. And he's just uh, unceremoniously put, pushed over the line and it's out for a throw in. It's uh, right on the, uh, the centre wing in front of the players race. Ball thrown in. Mullinger in ruck. Jelloff over the back. Nobody can get it clear. Yeaman gets a hand pass out to Lane. Lane bringing the ball back around towards the half forward line looking for Beck. Beck gets a front position. Can't take the mark. Still battling on after the ball. Tackled strongly by Goodchild. And it's on again here. This is absolutely ridiculous. And uh, free kicks gone Cheltenham's way. Free kicks gone Cheltenham's way. That uh, late tackle by Beck. Oh, this is absolutely ridiculous. It's a Cheltenham free kick. It's on the centre wing right in front of the commentary position. This is Thomas now driving the ball back into half forward for Cheltenham. Up they go. Oh, big flyer over the back on that occasion was Jason King. It's gone over the line and out. They're uh, <coughs> losing their cool a little bit, Collingwood Districts. And well, as you said before, Daryl, it's going to cost them dearly it's to if their they own keep it going. Detriment. This is the thing. It's mm. to their own detriment. Ball thrown back into uh, play there. Mellinger got the knockdown this time, but oh, there's a sea of uh, Collingwood Districts player there, and they swooped on uh, Campbell Addison there, and uh, umpire Steve Cullum will come in and ball it up. We're 18 minutes into the second quarter. 3 6 plays uh, 1 4 on the totally independent financial services scoreboard. As the ball comes down here, it's kicked uh, by a Collingwood District player. Couldn't pick up his number there. It's over the line and out of bounds for a throw in on the half forward flank for Cheltenham, member side of the ground. Well, there's plenty of feeling in this game. There's lots of pushing and shoving at the moment, and this is where uh, the umpires just have to take uh, complete control. There's the throw in. Mullins gets an almighty tap, but it's broke by Chant. Chant delivers the ball right in towards the forward line. Nearly a free kick there to uh, Jamie Ross, but uh, the umpire says no, all clear, and it's over the line and out, about 10 metres around from the Cheltenham goal. They lead 3 6 24 to Collingwood Districts 1 4 10 on the Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services scoreboard. There's the throw in. That was Butterworth in ruck. Knocked the ball uh, 20 metres further around. The opportunity now for uh, O'Brien. O'Brien gets a funny-looking hand pass out to McKay. He's under plenty of pressure. Tackled hard. Ball falls to the ground. And the umpire is going to be forced to do another ball up. Interesting to see how many players are on the ball, Daryl. If you have a look back from the uh, centre line, there's uh, four players back over the centre. Yes, yes. <laughs> there's two. There's two the other side of the centre square. Yep. Plenty of pressure on. You certainly can't say that they've, uh, they haven't they have pushed forward. <laughs> no. There's the Mal bounce up. Mullinger gets a big tap away. Roved by O'Brien. O'Brien, a big snap in towards the goals. This is going into the goal square. This could be a mark to Blaney. No. Touched all clear, says umpire Cullen. And it's one behind only. 
So Cheltenham move along now to 3-7-24. Collingwood Districts 1-4-10. And we've been playing how long in this second quarter, John? Just hit the 20-minute mark of the second quarter, Daryl, as uh, Collingwood Districts bring the ball back into play. He's decided to come over the uh, member side of the ground there. Up there was uh, Pickier, but uh, couldn't take the, uh, the ball. It comes across to McKay. He can't take uh, a clean grab. Picked up by Pickier again. Gets over towards uh, Bardsley, I think it is, running for the ball. Yep. He's pushed uh, out of the way by Mick Goodchild there. He battles across, uh, gets it over towards his teammate in lead. Picked up by number uh, 46 there. He gives that over towards uh, Walker. Walker in towards for it. Yeoman couldn't take the ball. He's been well held by uh, McGinley there. Chance Kicks it Beck. off the ground. Picks it up there. Beck, was it? Oh. And he's, uh, uh, no, it was Sorry, Walker, Walker. John, you're right. Jamie Walker, and he's kicked it off the side of his boot, and it's gone through for one point. And... Uh, Terry McKinley's played a terrific game on uh, for Rhett Yeoman. Um, he hasn't uh, hasn't given him an inch as the ball's come out here. Uh, play on the, uh, the call. Kicked in towards the wing position there. A big spoil there from uh, uh, Mark Phillips it was there. It's uh, gathered there by Thomas for Chelton. He kicks in towards a half forward line. It was Wall. Dean Wall couldn't take the ball. It's forced out by Collingwood Districts. In towards Wall again, but uh, I think that's Hartley. Can't pick it up. Gives it to Dean Wall. Wall kicks a high ball at... Uh, it went about 10 yards, but uh, umpire... Picked uh, out a free kick back there, I think, John. Yeah, I think, think it's going Chris Chant. I'm not sure whether it's uh, Chant or Hartley. No, it's Chris Chant. Is it's, it? Yeah, Moo Hartley's just in the in the centre here. Yeah, it's oh, Chris right. Chant. So he'll kick from 45 out. Oh, he's a left footer. He's on the right side, too. That's a beautiful kick. He's kicked a goal. What a goal. It's a beautiful goal. So that's... Uh, that's Cheltenham's fourth. And uh, that takes them on 4-7, uh, 31. With a 20-point break over Collingwood Districts, 1-5-11. And that's uh, four goals for the quarter. Unbelievable, this, John. I, you know, players reacting to the crowd when what they should be doing is just getting on with the game. Oh, Bounce of the ball back in the centre here. It's a free kick going Collingwood Districts way. And this is big Travis Mullinger, the best and fairest in Division 2. There's the kick up towards uh, centre-half forward. Thumped away by Mick Goodchild with a bandage on his head. Gets it over here. That's over to um, O'Brien. He's kick smothered. Taken here by uh, Collingwood District through the agency of Butterworth. Kicks up to where's where, where Walker traps it. Walker's hit hard by Chant. Fair bump too. Comes out towards Fielding. Fielding now bringing play around towards uh, Thomas. Saw oh, clean bowls in. Goes through his leg. Big jallop in there. He taps it over and the ball can't be kept in play and goes over the line and out on the half forward flank for Collingwood Districts. 4-7-31 Cheltenham leading Collingwood Districts 1-5-11. I think for the throw in. And uh, I don't know what's happened here. I think Mick Goodchild's been, uh, been sent off. Reported, I, think. I think he's been reported and sent off. Well, lots of sensations here in this grand final. And uh, nothing we didn't expect. I think we could say that. We well, didn't see that, uh, Daryl. It was in one of those uh, blind spots. And uh, it's Mick Good, uh, Charlie. I don't know whether he's coming off for the blood rule or whether he's been reported. But um, oh, he's still got that blood streaming yeah. from his head. Yeah, I think yep, that's what it's yep. for. I, I couldn't say well, anything. I don't know whether he did, in fact, everybody. It's just that he had the notebook out. That's what I... He's put the pencil Yeah, he has put it away. Yeah. I mean, he definitely took the notebook out. And uh, he's written something down. Jamie Walker will come in and uh, and kick from uh, from 45. He's on a 45 degree angle and he's wearing number 45. So, oh, that's beaten a lot of them. I think it's gone through for a goal. It has, and that was a that's a very badly needed goal for Collingwood Districts. And that's uh, 24 minutes into the second quarter and uh, Cheltenham leading 4-7, 31 to 2, 5, 17, and that's on the uh, totally independent financial services scoreboard. Today's grand final coverage is brought to you by Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services. For your complete mechanical service, including repairs, services and tunes, motors, suspension, brakes and roadworthy certificates, call 97 950188. Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services of 8 Overseas Drive, Noble Park, proudly supporting local football and Southern FM. OK, back here at Bentley. Cheltenham coming out of defence, and it's marked here by Sean Britt. And there's a uh, head-high tackle, I don't know. This is probably why uh, a lot of mums go get their kids to play basketball. 
Only now for uh, Sean, Brad, Sean Britt to come back and have his kick. Very undisciplined, uh, both sides at the moment. Now he's got the, he's off for the blood rule too oh, now. We'll have uh, most of the Cheltenham side off for the blood rule shortly. Be very interested to see what happens. Waiting now for uh, Chris Chant. Chris Chant to uh, have his kick as Tony Manago comes on for Cheltenham. This is Chris Chant kicking from just inside the centre square. Decent kick of a football too. That one's up, up the side of the boot a bit. Out there is Clark. Clark traps it nicely. It's a hand pass over in the direction of Thomas, but his kick's off line and it's out on the full. Free kick to Collingwood Districts. 4-7-31 to 2-5-17. Cheltenham leading. Waiting for uh, Carl Lane to bring this ball back into play. Kicks it right around towards the centre wing. Oh, big thump away by Addison of uh, Cheltenham. Comes out here to where uh, Yeaman's in after. Tucks a ball under the arm. Gets a hand pass. Knocked on by uh, Carl Lane. Kicked off the ground here. Taken by Cheltenham. In towards centre half forward. Looking there for McKay. Goes over the back. Clean bowls a few of them. Jamie Ross in there. Collingwood District's coming out in defence through the agency of Salvador. Gets through two players, but his hand pass goes astray to McKay. McKay back over to Chant. Chant feeds it back over to Ross. Ross back to McKay. McKay's kicked right off the side of his boot and will go over the line and out. And it uh, bounces just inside the line to be about uh, 10 metres around from the uh, Cheltenham goals. Minute of half, a minute and a half of time on played in this second quarter. 26 and a half minutes gone as the umpire throws it in. Mellon's in there, and, uh, but it was taken by Yeoman. Chuck Yeoman gets it out towards, uh, I think it was Kearney. Kearney gets a scrubby old kick down towards the half-back line. There's no talking there from the Collingwood Districts player, but they come out of, uh, of defence and kick it onto the wing there. Oh, good, good mark, mark there taken there by uh, Addison. <laughs> Addison gets a hand pass over towards uh, O'Brien. O'Brien gets a short kick in towards uh, his teammate. There is um, that's uh, the player that's just come on, Tony Monago, and uh, he'll kick uh, 10 metres to short of the centre. He kicks it long, and that's what they've done all quarter. Kicked it long and given their forwards a chance. Couldn't take the mark. It's forced along the uh, the bottom of the uh, the pack there. No one can get it out, but uh, Cheltenham get it through the agency of. Uh, a snap over the shoulders gone through from Hartley. And uh, that was a nice little out. spin out the pack. He was uh, 35 metres out, spun out the pack beautifully. And uh, it was good work down in the goal square where uh, his teammate uh, just edged out the Collingwood District's play. It went over his head and uh, rolled through for a goal. So that's uh, Cheltenham's um, uh, fifth goal on the board. 5-7-37, leading Collingwood District's 2-5-17. And it gives them a 20-point break just coming up to uh, half-time, Daryl. That's right, Sean Bricks kicked two for the Rosellas, one apiece to Chant, Hartley and Blaney. And uh, a very valuable goal, as you'd say, John, so close to half-time. 20-point lead to the Rosellas as the ball's bounced in the centre. Mullinger gets it down. Plenty of hard work going on in there. Nobody can get the ball out, and it's a ball up right back in the centre circle again. Big crowd here at Bentley today. They're right round the ground. Very hard to estimate. There's the bounce. Jelliff in ruck for Cheltenham. Yeaman takes it for Collingwood Districts. Can't get clear. Brett White tries to thump it forward. Mullinger can't take it. In there after it is a uh, tack of players. Finally, it's Hartley who kicked that last goal who gets the ball out. Comes out towards Salvador. Salvador running across the half-back line. Takes the mark for Collingwood Districts. Plays on looking over oh, there for Lane. And that's mark. a good mark for Carl Lane out on the uh, centre wing. He's tried hard all day. He's played too, very well for them. He's been uh, probably nearly their best player, Carl Lane. Drives the ball back in towards the centre. Here's a mark for Addison, who's playing well for Cheltenham. That was Butterworth trying to come out with the ball. Fielding gets it. Back out to Addison. No. Fighting his way through. There was Moo Hartley. who's coming right into the game for the Rosellas. Kicks up towards centre oh, half board. And that's a very good mark to Collingwood. Now, who's that out there? It's uh, yeah, Harrison, Matthew is it? Harrison. Gets it over here to... Uh, Salvador. 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 Quickly... On to uh, Harrison again, out to Bardsley, and Bardsley takes the mark on the centre wing. Michael Bardsley, Collingwood Districts, drives the ball into attack now. Can they get a goal just before half-time against this breeze? Bounces clear, Fielding takes it for Cheltenham, can't get his kick. Tap towards the boundary line and just beats Carney over the line and out. And that breeze, uh, it had dropped there for a little while, Daryl, but it sprung up again and uh, it's... Uh, it's blazing down towards that uh, centre road end there as Chuck Yeoman can't get hold of the ball. In there was uh, Hartley, but he can't get it either. And uh, the ball was forced over the line and out of bounds, and it's uh, just on the uh, on the half-forward flank for Collingwood Districts on the member side of the ground. 37 plays 17, and we're coming up to the uh, 30, just on the 30-minute mark of this second quarter. 
20 point uh, leaders, all big knock there from Mallinger, gets it down towards uh, Jamie Walker there, but uh, good defensive play there from Anthony Thomas, and he put the pressure on uh, Walker and pushed it over the line and out of bounds, forward pocket for Collingwood Districts. Ball to be thrown back in by the boundary umpire here. Would be 35, 40 metres around from the goal. It's a short, uh, a short throw in there as Addison couldn't quite take control of the ball. It's uh, no, it wasn't picked up there. It is so now. He dodged and ducked and weaved Butterworth, and uh, he was caught with the ball. And the free kick will go to Cheltenham. Big kick down towards the uh, commentary position here. Centre wing uh, on the ground there. It's uh, good child Peter, I think that was. Couldn't get hold of the ball. In there was uh, Bardsley. Can't get it at all. Gets a nice uh, hand pass over to White. He's uh, scragged as he went to kick it there. In there was uh, number eight for uh, Cheltenham. Gets a kick down towards the goals. And I think it was a touched. Mark Phillips' kick. No, it wasn't. And that's uh, Cheltenham's sixth goal. And that's sixth goal for the quarter. That's 6-7-43 Cheltenham. And they've really got their tails up. Uh, and they're leading Collingwood Districts 2-5-17. And that's six goals uh, to one this quarter, uh, Daryl. 6-3 to 1-2 for the quarter, John Kelly tells me, John. And they're still niggling out here. Uh, number nine. Um, Good play by uh, Mark Phillips. Well, I think I've been calling Anthony Thomas sometimes. So. Well, so they've got Mullinger down as number 39 here. Yes, no, uh, they like to play tricks on us, uh, poor humble commentators. <laughs> It's we're not easy to trick, is it? It's hard enough. We're not easy to trick. It's not even a challenge. <laughs> uh, Mullinger was in there, couldn't get the knock away. It's knocked out there by uh, Lane. That was Carl Lane. He's played a good game for districts. He's battled on well. Mullinger couldn't uh, get hold of the ball. Stacks on the mill in the centre of the ground, and the umpire will come in and ball it up. And uh, we're coming up for the 30... 32 minute mark of the second quarter and there probably will be a bit of time on there's been players sent off and uh, uh, the blood rule and, and so forth and uh, I think there's more players off the ground and it's on it at the moment as a knockdown uh, comes towards um, that was uh, Pickier yeah, no one can take it for uh, for Cheltenham but uh, out of uh, defence in towards Bardsley there but butted up butted up Chant. nicely there was uh, Chris Chant he gets it down towards the full forward line being in the race for the ball was um, uh, was that Barsley in there? No, Kearney under, uh, runs under the ball. Oh, no, the ball wasn't out of bounds, umpire. That was a, that was a, uh, it was an a anticipated blue. decision that uh, didn't come off. But uh, he's thrown the ball back in. Right in front of the members, in front of the players' race there. No one can take the ball. Chance in there, Salvador in there for, uh, for uh, Collingwood. It's picked up there by Monago, but the Sirens beat him. And it's half-time here at Bentley. And Cheltenham 6-7-43, leading Collingwood Districts 2-5-17. Well, a great quarter of footy, and uh, we'll be back to have a look at the half-time situation back here at Bentley very shortly. You're listening to the Grand Final Live on 88.3, Southern FM. Today's Grand Final coverage is brought to you by Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services. For your complete mechanical service, including repairs, services... Um, with Shane Taylor, and also saying to uh, the, the Fords like Beck, that just do what you did during the course of the year, and we'll be back there. Forget, forget the rough stuff, forget the crowd, just get on with running hard at the ball, and that's not what you're doing. Um, they look like, a bit like the walking wounded at Rosellas, but uh, I would think that they'll all be back in the second half. Thank you very much, David Andrew, and DA will be keeping us abreast of uh, what happens out there when players come off and uh, just what's happening around the boundary. We're back now for the third quarter. The siren's gone, and uh, umpire David O'Hare bounces the ball. Up they go. Knocked away by Taylor. Taken there by Addison of Cheltenham. His kick's marked by Carney, and Carney takes the mark for Collingwood Districts. Collingwood Districts kicking with the aid of a slight breeze in this third quarter as they uh, drive it down towards centre half forward. That looks like a Collingwood mark. That's Salvador. Shifted him and from moved defense. Him. And yes, moved him. Moved <laughs> they've him. moved him. <laughs> Shifted him. They've moved him down to the uh, forward line. It's what they did last year in the finals. And um, he, uh, he can take a great grab. A very good pair of hands. And a quick goal here uh, could put uh, Collingwood right back into this game. In fact, that's exactly what's happened. He's put that one right through the centre at about the uh, 32nd mark of, uh, of this third quarter. A very important goal. And that uh, moves Collingwood uh, District along now to 3-5-23. Trailing Cheltenham 6-7-43. And that's on the uh, Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services scoreboard. And try saying that with a mouthful of grapes. <laughs> and that was uh, exactly what Collingwood Districts needed, Daryl. They needed to get the first goal, get it quickly, and... Uh, They've got to uh, they've got to do plenty of that as uh, we see uh, 48. They're coming off the ground. Who's that? 
No, that's Mike Zakas, who um, has the split lip that Dio was telling us about earlier. I tell you what, it's like, it's, it's like a hospital ward around it's here. Just, the, uh, it's just amazing. They had the uh, bandage left, right and centre. Like the walking wounded as uh, Mellinger gets a knockout for the districts. But it's shark there beautifully by uh, Hartley. Kicks it up towards the uh, half four position there, but comes off the, uh, the pack of uh, players and uh, moved out of defence there by uh, Collingwood Districts. Picked up beautifully by Fielding for Cheltenham, but uh, a scrubby old kick sees it over the line and out of bounds, half forward flank for Cheltenham. Nearly uh, sent the boundary umpire uh, sprawling then, that kick from uh, Fielding. The boundary umpire got out of the way. Ball thrown in, half forward flank. Mellinger and Jelloff. Punch there by uh, Collingwood Districts, but uh, well, they come out of it nicely through the agency of hockey. Salvador again. Salvador takes the mark. He gets it over towards, uh, oh, who was that there? That was Taylor, I think. And a beautiful lead and uh, kick and a nice mark on the chest there from Farat Yeaman. And I think... It's the I'd first time he's got away from uh, McKinley. Well, I was just going to say, John, I'd venture to say it's his first touch. It's mm. his first kick anyway. He'll, uh, he'll line it up uh, 35 metres out from goal, directly in front. comes in well over the ball that's a nice looking kick and he's put that through for Collingwood's second goal for the quarter that's 4-5 29 Collingwood districts trailing Cheltenham 6-7-43 and they've kicked two minutes uh, sorry they've kicked two goals in the first three minutes of play for at Yeoman's first goal of the game and that'll uh, give them a little bit of a uh, little bit of heart now John that uh, Yeoman's actually come into the game very, very quiet in that in that first half, as we mentioned. But if uh, if he can start getting a few touches up forward and they can get the ball down to him, well, uh, it could throw a completely different complexion on this game. Oh, they're certainly not out of it yet, Daryl. Uh, I mean, there's only two goals of difference, and um, you know it's a, a new half of football. So you now they get another couple of goals there, and it's uh, it's going to put the pressure right back on Cheltenham. There's a nice mark there taken by Fooling at the centre half pack position. He gets it across to his teammate there. I think that's uh, O'Brien. O'Brien, is it? It's a, uh, it's a scrubby kick that goes towards... Uh, oh no, that was O'Brien there. Yeah, he ran on. Oh, he ran on. Oh, yep. right. OK. And uh, it's down towards Harrison for uh, the districts at the half-back line there. He gets a hand pass over to Chuck Gaiman. He's Whoa. playing there by uh, McKay. Play on the call. There's a, uh, a scramble of players. Then there was um, Jason King. But it comes across to Cheltenham. It's mm. half forward there. That was... Uh, Author, I think. Uh, Arthur Hartley. Hartley, it wasn't. Arthur Hartley, yes. Arthur Hartley. <laughs> In the record as author, of course, it's Arthur. Better known as Moo. Arthur. Anyway, it was uh, Bardsley, I think. Gets a kick down there. It uh, went to punch it over the top there was uh, Taylor. But um, gets uh, uh, that's a Cheltenham Clark. player there. Clark gets it down to the half-forward line. Play on the call. Kearney's in there for uh, the districts. There's a pack of players there. Also in there was uh, Ross. And what's he doing there? Umpire O'Hare has given a free kick to Bardsley. It's a nice looping hand pass over towards his teammate there. That was Phillips. A kick through the centre, down towards centre half forward. A pack of players fly. Yeaman's in there. Gets onto his right foot. Sets sail for goal, and I think he's put it through. He has. And that's uh, Collingwood District's uh, third goal for this quarter. They're 5-5, five, five, 35, trailing Cheltenham, 6-7-43. And that throws a different complex on the game altogether. That they've kicked three goals in uh, in five minutes. And um, the Cheltenham boys will have to uh, well, I, lift I, their heads. And, uh, I don't think Cheltenham worked nearly hard enough then to keep that ball on their forward line. Then, John, they turned that ball over far too easily. It, was, uh, it just looked like a lackadaisical walk through the park there. Yeah, uh, but... And they should have been fighting desperately to keep that ball on their forward line. I thought that was a... Uh, a pretty ordinary effort there, and they may pay the penalty. Up they go in the centre. Knocked away by Jelloff. In there after it's uh, Chuck Yeaman. He can't take it. Hartley in there after it. Comes back to Mullinger. Mullinger feeds it off over here to uh, uh, Pequia. Pequia down towards the forward line. Kicked off the ground there. In towards the goal square. Here's the opportunity now for O'Brien to come out uh, of defence with the ball for Cheltenham. He does so. Comes out here towards Carney on the grandstand side of the ground. He's in front of Brett White. Traps the ball nicely. Big hand pass over here. Cheltenham defenders in the van. And eventually they see it over the line and out of bounds around about 15 metres around from the Collingwood District goal. Under plenty of pressure now the Rosellas. 6 7 43, Leading Collingwood District 5-5-35. Here's the throw in. 
comes across here to uh, towards Collingwood Districts here. Number 17, that was uh, McConville. He can't get the ball away, and uh, there's a stacks on the mill, and the umpire will uh, will bounce it. Right in front of the social Don't club here, that, about 25 uh, metres out from the Collingwood Districts goal. 35 plays 43, and we're six minutes into this third quarter. Umpire O'Hare will bounce the ball down, Mallinger and Jaleff. No one really got the knockout that time. The uh, ball's on the bottom of the pack there. There's a scramble of players there. Chuck Yeaman's in there for the for uh, Collingwood Districts. Gets a right a left foot snap in towards the forward pocket, but I think it's over the line and out of bounds on the full. And the result, free kick will go to Terry McKinley, the fullback for Cheltenham. He's hard up against the uh, the point post. Jamie Ross coming off for Cheltenham and uh, Zakas. Mike Zakas going on in the unfamiliar number 48 Guernsey. He looks like he's got his mouth guard taped in. He's got a, a, a row of tape across yes. his mouth and then underneath. That's right. He's got the split lip. And um, and uh, I'll tell you what, whoever's doing the Cheltenham laundry this week, I'll have, have, to, have to use the old drive to get all the blood out. I wouldn't mind the tape, Bill. That four of them come off and change their jumpers. As uh, White gets a kick down towards the wing position for Cheltenham, leading in the race for the ball was Collingwood Districts through the agency of Dean Taylor. But uh, the ball's over the line and out of bounds, right in front of our uh, commentary position here at the Bentley ground. Umpire throws it in. Collingwood uh, Jella gets a knock down there. It goes uh, in the direction of Blaney. He gets a left foot kick, but it's smothered. Picked up there nicely by Carl Lane, the vice captain for Collingwood Districts. Kicks it into the centre of the ground. The ball holds up. Can't take the uh, the mark there. Tapped on nicely by Collingwood Districts. A hand pass back in the direction of Lane. He can't take it. But it's Paul Fielding who comes out for Cheltenham. He gets it down towards the half forward line. Oh, and a good mark there taken by uh, Cheltenham. Uh, and I think that's uh, Hartley, is it? No, no it's Sean no, Britt. Sean think. Britt, is it? Yeah. Gets it across anyway to his, uh, his teammate there. A hand pass over the top in the direction of McKay. He lines him up, but uh, oh, he's well offline. And a good, good mark. diving mark in the, uh, the forward pocket there to Mark Phillips. They should make him captain so they can call him Captain Mark Phillips. <laughs> but I think. Mark, I don't know what to say to that one. <laughs> 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 he's played, he played a princely game. Mark Phillips, he's, uh, he runs around this time and he sets sail for goal. I think he's put that through. Ooh, no, for a point. Just misses. I was going to say, if he's kicked that and uh, plenty of noise they win the by crowd. less than a goal, they might make him captain. OK, we'll see the uh, the scoreboard change now to uh, 6-8-44 Cheltenham, leading Collingwood Districts 5-5-35. And uh, we're eight and a half minutes into this uh, third quarter as... Um, Hockey takes a mark and a half back flank. Directs it uh, in towards uh, Shane Taylor, just on the, the point of the square, and Shane Taylor in a bit of uh, pain out there, but uh, is he going to get up and have his kick? I think he's got a 50-metre penalty from umpire uh, Cullen, and uh, yes, he has, and that's going to take him well down the uh, the field. It'll take him to probably the... Oh, no, it wasn't as big a 50 as I thought it was going to be, Daryl. I thought yeah. it was going to take him to the other point of the, the, the square. It's a 38 and a half metre penalty, isn't it? <laughs> as, uh, as he comes in there, this is Taylor. Kicks it into the full forward position good there. Mark. And uh, they pulled the old uh, sandwich trick on Yeaman. And a good mark in the last line of defence there to Cheltenham. I just can't pick well, up who that is. It might be Clark. I'm not sure. Very hard to tell back there. Comes out towards Addison out here in the half-back flank. Traps the ball inside. No, he doesn't. You're out, says the umpire just like John Kelly does during the summer. <laughs> and um, we're waiting for the ball to be thrown back in. It's on the half-forward flank here for Collingwood Districts, kicking with the breeze in this third quarter. They still trail. Here's the attacking move from uh, coming from Yeaman after that chain of hand passes. But he kick, his kick is offline, through for behind only. And Collingwood Districts now go to 5-6-36, trailing Cheltenham 6-8-44. And there is only eight points in this game. The breeze not that big a significant factor, although it is favouring the centre road end where most of the scoring has been done. There's the kick in by Terry McKinley. That's a good kick too. Flying high over the back and taking a magnificent grab was Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor of Collingwood Districts, runner-up in the best and fairest for 95, comes in, wobbly kicking towards uh, centre-half forward, and Brad Clark just drops back and takes the mark for Cheltenham, doing well now in defence, Brad Clark. Here's his kick out towards uh, Jelloff. Jelloff over the uh, back of his uh, Collingwood opponent, Carl Lane, on that occasion, and he sees the ball over and out, and it's on the half-forward flank on the outer side of the ground. We'll see uh, Mullinger in the ruck for um, Collingwood Districts against Jelloff. Mellinger got the knock down. Oh, Shark beautifully there by uh, Collingwood Districts. And a shot there from uh, Chuck Yeaman. He's put it through. That's a beautiful goal from the pocket by Chuck Yeaman. 
at the 10 minute mark of this third quarter. I just couldn't pick up who uh, who gave him that hand pass. No, I, I couldn't either, but it was very quick and uh, a great little piece of play. Um, and they're right back in it, Daryl. Walker over there. Two points of difference. 6 8 44 plays 6 6 42, and that's on the Mulgrave Tyron Mechanical Services scoreboard. Cheltenham, uh, once again, when that ball came up their forward line before, I thought let it get out, back out far too easily, John. Yes, they, um, I think they thought that uh, it was just going to be a matter of getting out on the ground in the third quarter, but they've got to do that There's hard an work opportunity. As, as the ball comes over towards uh, oh. number 11 there. That's uh, McKay. Yeah. He gets it into the uh, centre-half forward position there. Couldn't take the mark. Shark there by Dean Wall, but he couldn't get away with it. Gets a hand pass out towards uh, Phillips. Phillips kicks it into the goal square, and will it run through? Oh. Oh, touched right on the line there by Bardsley. Well, must have been about a uh, fingernail... Ahead of the line then, John. Yes. Just touched in the nick of time. Would have bounced through for a goal. Waiting it would have been for... a very handy goal for uh, for Cheltenham too as the ball's brought back. It nearly kicked into the centre of the green and a sensational mark there taken. That's the second one by Taylor. Oh. He plays on, he gets onto the right foot. It's down to the half forward line there. Let underneath the ball and here comes uh, Jamie Taylor leading in the race for the ball. He can't pick it up. Paddling along and in front of him. Oh, good shepherd there. Good strong work from... Uh, his teammate Sean McConville, but uh, the ball was pushed over the line and out of bounds. Uh, halfway between the half forward flank and forward pocket member side of the ground for Collingwood Districts. The umpire throws it back in. Jelloff gets a knockout, but it's uh, punched further uh, forward by Jason King. Kicked off the ground there by Cheltenham. In there is uh, Carl Lane. Couldn't take the ball. Knocked on there by uh, no. Oakley Districts. Chuck Gaiman uh, went through his legs. Picked up by... Uh, Collingwood Districts and driven forward into the uh, full forward position. Yeaman's there, but it's Shark there by uh, his teammate number 17. That was uh, McConville. Scrubby old kick, but it's cleared out of uh, of defence by uh, Cheltenham. In there was um, Clark, that is, for Cheltenham. Oh, he caught one too high, and he's got the free kick. That's a free kick to uh, to Brad Clark. He's on the half-back flank, member side of the ground, and uh, kicks it along the centre wing position. Basically unattended there, and uh, Taylor's had a good quarter this quarter. It's his third mark for the quarter. He centres the ball right in towards centre half forward. High flyers wanted. Cheltenham in front, but uh, no one can get hold of the ball there. Uh, McConville on the ground for Collingwood Districts. He can't get hold of the ball. Out towards Mellinger. Gets a left foot kick. It doesn't travel very far. Uh, Clark punches the ball out. Goes down towards Chuck Yeoman. He doesn't know what to do. Oh, he gets through a a bunch of players there. What's he done? Oh, I reckon it's it's gone right over the top of the point post, uh, the goal post. Actually, I thought that was a point, but um, the umpires deemed it was inside, and that's a goal to Chuck Yeoman, and he beat two or three of them then. And uh, that sees uh, Collingwood District seven six forty eight have hit the league from Cheltenham six nine forty five, and. Um, They've kicked five goals in uh, 14 minutes well, of football, Darren. Yep, Cheltenham, I uh, just don't think are working nearly hard enough to uh, to keep the ball in their in their front half. Uh, I've now seen three examples in this quarter. And it's it's on... Oh, look, this... Shadow boxing. Um, but then I don't think... That 45 isn't uh, Taylor. Right? That's that's Ray Beck wearing 45 too, John. I've just uh, realised that after we've been calling the wrong name. This Mullinger coming out now for uh, Collingwood Districts. Drives the ball down towards their half-forward flank. Don't deserve to call any of their names if they can't wear the right jumpers. But anyway, taken here by Zakis from uh, Cheltenham. Up towards the half-forward line. Oh, they're all falling over. Going in hard was White. Carney's in there. Also was uh, Butterworth. Can't fool the boundary umpire. And it's over and out right in front of our position here, just on the centre wing. It's Collingwood District by three points in a very, very rugged grand final. There's the throw-in. Mullinger over the back, but Jelloff wins the tap. The two have had an epic struggle all day. Taken there by uh, Peter Goodchild, but he's slung as he kicked it, and his kick goes over the line and out, and it'll be Collingwood District's free kick on the half-back flank. Been playing, what, just on 15 minutes, is it, John, in this... 15 and a half minutes, Darrell. 15 and a half minutes in this third quarter. There's the uh, kick-in from Collingwood Districts. Oh, Cheltenham all on their own, he punched it. No talk there at all. Comes in towards... Uh, Chant can't take the mark. Knocked on. He's against two uh, Collingwood opponents here. Shane Taylor grabs it nicely. His kick's going to be out on the full low, and it'll be a free kick to Cheltenham on their half-back flank. A bit of uh, seesaw footy at the moment. 
6-9-45, play 7-6-48. Collingwood District lead by three points on the Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services scoreboard. Chris Chant to bring the ball back into uh, play. He does so with a very high kick down towards the centre wing position. High flyers wanted. No one can take the mark. It's pushed further afield by uh, Jelloff. On the bottom of the pack there was um, the Collingwood Districts. Pushes it out to Chuck Yeoman. Chuck Yeoman gets a nice hand pass over to McConville. McConville, oh, no left foot. And uh, kicks a right foot kick straight over the line and out of bounds in the forward pocket. So free kick uh, to be taken by the full back for Cheltenham is McKinley. They've got a lot of hard work to do yet. Chelt, John. Yeah, they certainly have, Daryl. Uh, they won't want to let Collingwood Districts get too far in front as the ball's brought back towards the half-forward flank. Punched away there by uh, uh, Taylor, that was. In towards uh, the centre of the ground there. Couldn't take the mark, but here comes um, King. King for uh, Collingwood Districts. So he gets around. He's well caught there by Mick Goodchild. Play on the call. Should have got the free kick, Goodchild, but... Um, yeah, oh, what's a, a bloke got to do to get a free kick? Yeah, he was a bit stiff. He, he turned straight back into trouble. Good child claimed him. It was a good tackle, and uh, the umpire, uh, nine times out of ten, would have given a free kick against him. Yeah? Might uh, attack Stevie Hill with that one at three-quarter time, John. Yeah, get into him, Daryl. Yeah. As the ball was punched down there in the direction of Good Child, he can't pick it up. It comes back over towards... Uh, uh, I couldn't see who that was there, Mott, I think that might be, is it? No, oh, good no. mark there, nearly taken by Salvador, but he butters up nicely. Couldn't get the hand pass away. It comes out in the direction of uh, Phillips. Phillips gets a kick out uh, towards a wing position, was it? Phillips uh, Thomas, or Thomas? Actually, yeah. Thomas, and uh, the ball goes over the line and out of bounds. I've been getting a... those two mixed up all day. Yeah, it's, it's hard to see. Um, they're very similar, and they wear uh, their numbers are similar as well. Look at that crowd on the outer side yeah, of the ground. That's the crowd. biggest crowd I've seen at Bentley ever. Yeah, there's a big crowd here as the ball's uh, thrown back in. A nice hand pass in the direction oh. of... Um, oh, he gave it straight back, uh, O'Brien, to his opposition player. In there was uh, Chant. Lane can't get hold of the ball. He picked up by Clark. He kicks in towards it. Ah, oh, forward. It was too short. Over the ball was all. Oh, Tunnel ball play. through there by Britt. I'll he, get it in there. He and... can't get it across to his uh, his teammate there. And out of the fence comes Mark Gill for Collingwood Districts. He gets a ball out to Chuck Yeoman, who's lifted his work laid this quarter. He gets a kick, right foot kick yeah, in towards the centre yeah, of the game. Done. In there was number 27 as Butterworth. He gets a hand pass back to Chuck Yeoman. He's had a ton of kicks this quarter. Into the half forward line. Oh, up there was uh, Taylor. Taylor again. And that's about his fourth mark for the quarter. He doesn't muck around. He always sees McConville over here on his own, and McConville takes a kick. Oh, he gets a hand pass over to uh, Yeoman. And that was uh, missed it. for it, Yeoman. Yep. He's put it through. And that was good play uh, from Collingwood Districts. They moved the ball beautifully along that half-back flank there. And uh, Taylor, who's come right into the game this quarter, gave it across to McConville. He hand-passed it over to Ferret Yeoman. Uh, Yeoman and uh, he made no mistake and put it through for Collingwood Districts' eighth goal. That's 8-6. 54 Collingwood Districts, uh, leading Cheltenham 6-9-45. And that's nine points in front at the 19-minute mark of this third quarter. And a very, very tough battle it is out there at the moment as um, Tony Manago comes back on for Cheltenham. They've made plenty of changes. They've had to make lots of changes. There's the bounce in the centre. Jelloff can't get the tap clear. Comes to Chant. He can't get his kick. It comes out to him again. Gets tackled. Gets it onto his left foot. Fielding's waiting under it. And takes the mark. A boot is a cross between a, a foot and a boot, John, <laughs> if you're wondering. Paul Fielding onto his left foot now. I was just thinking there, about that. Towards the half forward flank. It's knocked away here. The opportunity for um, Bardsley to barge, barge through there for Collingwood Districts. It wasn't Bardsley anyway. But it's over the line and out on the half forward flank for Cheltenham. Cheltenham kicking uh, against the breeze in this quarter. They've kicked 6-1 this quarter, Collingwood. Yep, as John said, they won't want to let Collingwood get too far away. Mullinger in ruck with Blaney. Blaney takes it out of the air. Now it's grabbed there by... Uh, um, it was at Pequia. Pequia down towards the half forward line. Here's the opportunity for Collingwood now. Walking, twisting, turning is Leslie. Leslie's kick smothered. Comes out towards Addison. Addison gets it, uh, runs past McKay. Drives it in towards the centre. Over the back was Monago. Gave a push out right in front of the umpire. If you're going to do it, Tony, don't do it in front of the ump, mate. He's played a good game, and it's gone to uh, Sean Kearney. Kearney sees McConville, who's made a bit of an impact uh, since he's come onto the ground. And uh, he's, uh, he's certainly made his opponent work hard. As McConville uh, uh, has a bit of a stutter. He should be able to put a big boot into that. He does. It goes right off the side of his boot. Into oh, oh, look it's, at that that's, uh, yeah, Johnny Beck with uh, oh. Uh, oh, and a big tackle there from Collingwood Districts. They fall on top of the ball. And uh, there was no talking there from uh, from Cheltenham. They uh, they should have told their player to uh, 
to get rid of it quickly, but uh, he was claimed by the uh, Collingwood opponent, and uh, the result will be a ball up about 30 metres or 25 metres out from the Collingwood District's goal. And these fellas are going to know they've played a game of footy tonight. Mellinger takes a ball out of the air. He, uh, he got a quick kick, but it, uh, it's gone over in the direction of um, Fielding. Fielding kicks it uh, further afield. It goes into the direction of uh, Salvador. He gets onto the, uh, the left foot in towards centre half forward there. And the big fella uh, couldn't take the mark. That was uh, big um, Mellinger. He, uh, I thought he had first grab at that too, but... Uh, yeah, I was uh, sort of half expecting a whistle there. Umpire <laughs> Cullen said, uh, give it to me, and he's, uh, he's balling it up. Mellinger in the ruck this time. He gets a knockdown towards... Um, that was uh, Salvador there, but um, no one could take uh, hold of the ball. The umpire says... Uh, the tackling has been me. absolutely yeah, been fierce good. today, hasn't it, John? Yep, yeah, it's been good. Now, uh, umpire Cullen having a, a word to uh, Murray Salvador there and just saying, settle down, son as he comes in and bounces the ball. Right on the point of the 50 metre line. Salvador couldn't get the knockout. There's uh, all these players everywhere in there. Butterworth for the districts. Goes down towards, um, that was um, good. See, they, they, this is uh, Zarkas. The, the players, are, because of this blood rule, they've changed their numbers and uh, it makes it hard for us commentators <laughs> who don't know these players as the oh, ball's picked right. up there towards. Uh, Colling would change them all before the game without any blood rules, huh? <laughs> Fernando Pequier comes in on that left foot in towards his uh, teammate there was Butterworth. Couldn't take them all there, but Butters up well. He gets it across to uh, Brad Hockey and uh, see another bounce up. I don't think I've seen as many ball ups in the game of footy ever. I think it's got to just about be a record, I think. I reckon this crowd's a record too, a huge crowd as Steve Cullen pounds the ball into the turf. Bounce towards Collingwood's goal. Knocked away by their chance. Shane Taylor comes in. He's played a magnificent third quarter. Down towards the goal square. For Hart Yeaman coming right into the game. Never got a kick in the first half. But he's, uh, he's kicked three in this third term. And the Woods are right back in it. In fact, they're uh, nine points in front. And who would have thought that at half time? The ball's out of bounds about uh, five metres around from their goal. There's the throw in. They go. Salvador tries to take it out of the air. Can't do so. Taken there by... Uh, Hartley was it out towards McKay oh the ball bounces awkwardly for him nobody can pick it up Hack hockey taps it on coming out is uh, Chuck Yeaman he's uh, playing a great game for Collingwood and it's just touched in the last line of defence on that occasion there by Zakas and uh, that was a certain goal he did very well to get to that one John so that's oh. another point to Collingwood Districts they move along now to uh, 8 7 55 leading Cheltenham 6-9-45, and that's on the Mulgrave Tyrone Mechanical Services scoreboard. And that's 23 and a half minutes into this third quarter as a mark there was taken by Taylor. He read the ball a little better. He gets a right foot kick into that forward pocket, but there's no one home for Collingwood Districts and a mark taken on the chest by Paul Fielding. Paul Fielding, uh, back pocket there for Cheltenham, out of sight of the ground. Goes for the short, but kicks into the man on a mark. That's a cardinal sin. Salvador feeds the ball across to his teammate. There's a flying shot for goal, but he's kicked it out of bounds on the full. And a free kick to Cheltenham right on the point of the... the I post. tell you what, I feel like I'm in a time warp here watching Mick Goodshaw. I keep thinking it's Carl Dittrich out there <laughs> in the headband. He has got the big headband on too as the ball's brought back and up. It's a bandage. Oh, the high flyers there. No one can take the mark. Play on's a call. It's on the bottom of the pack. Good child in there. Can't get hold of the ball. Lane in there for Collingwood District. Gets it out. He, the crowd said he threw it. Picked up by Zarkas. He goes for the right foot kick. Heading towards the boundary line. And the ball sees the, uh, the boundary line win. Over and out on the outer side of the ground wing position to be thrown back in by the boundary umpire. And that temperature has dropped a degree or two in recent times, John. I'm glad I've got John Kelly's wind tutor on, otherwise I'll be chattering, the old tooth will be chattering. <laughs> Ball comes out here, Chopman working about, hard to get it out. Comes out to O'Brien, bounces in front of him, trying to be shepherded there by uh, uh, McKay. Finally O'Brien takes it. Lips in towards Dean Wall, and Dean Wall takes the mark at centre half forward for Cheltenham. He's got nobody to kick it to. They're all up the ground, and consequently, when they get the ball, there's nobody there. He chips it in short on this occasion, and uh, taking the mark was Paul O'Brien. So Brian's got the ball for Cheltenham. He'd be 40 metres out. This would be one of the only times I've had it over the, um, the yes. centre line, Darrell. It's been very, very uh, quiet for them up this end of the ground in this third quarter. They went in at uh, half time with a 26-point lead, and they now trail by 10. As O'Brien comes in, that is a dreadful kick. My mother-in-law kicks like that, and it's marked by Bardsley um, <laughs> in the last line of defence for Collingwood Districts, and the umpire's whistle goes as he kicks. Obviously, it has to come back. I and noticed uh, you said your mother-in-law, not your mum. He'll say. <laughs> he'll uh, tell you because she's out of hearing distance. And... Um, 
This is Michael Bardsley will take the kick. Just as well you didn't say your wife. <laughs> From the last line, she's probably taped that I'm in trouble. <laughs> the last line of defence for Collingwood Districts, and that's a decent sort of hoof too, right up towards the centre wing. Zakas can't take the mark. Comes out there to um, uh, Chris Chant, I think that was. Got to over O'Brien. O'Brien back to Zakas. So oh, they take a long time getting rid of that ball, Cheltenham. Cool. Monagas is caught, and this is what I'm talking about, John. They get that ball in the half forward line, and they hang on to it, or fiddle, or don't. Just don't fight hard enough to keep it in there. Well, two or three times they've hand passed to uh, a, player in a, a player in a worse <coughs> position. Yeah. So the ball, uh, umpire O'Hare will bounce the ball down. In there is um, Jelloff. He gets a knockout, but it uh, doesn't go to anyone uh, picked up by uh, Kearney. Gives it to his teammate. Kearney, uh, he's been a busy player today. He's got it again, Kearney. He's pushing it along in front of him. Still pushing it along in front of him, and he had to battle three players, and he had no assistance at all uh, Sean Kearney, and that's been um, part of the story all day because he has played a good game. He certainly had nowhere to go. Pretty nuggety sort of a half-forward uh, flanker, Sean Kearney. Here's a ball thrown in. Jelloff gets a oh. big knockdown, but he's missed it. A clean bowl in. Kearney in there again, picks it up, gets a right foot kick in towards a half-forward line, but there's no one home for Collingwood Districts. And the mark taken by Brad Clark on the half-back line. He comes to the member side of the ground, kicks it high. Underneath it is... Um, Collingwood District's player in uh, Mark Phillips, and Mark Phillips has taken the mark. He should centre the ball. A oh, hockey, yeah. sorry. Hockey one. Kicks it in towards the... Oh, Yeaman couldn't take the mark. It clean bowled a couple of them. Taylor in there for Collingwood oh. District, but Addison comes out of the pack beautifully. Quite a good game. He gives it across to Monago. Monago kicks it in towards Zakas, who takes a mark just short of the centre on the uh, wing position in front of the commentary box here. Zarkas goes for a right foot kick in the direction of half four there. Being held was the, uh, the Cheltenham player and uh, the ball will go over the line and out of bounds on the half forward flank there for um, Cheltenham. And we're uh, coming up to 28 minutes. 55 plays uh, 41, I think that is. I just can't see the scoreboard attendance in front of the, the, the scoreboard there. A nice knock out there goes in the direction of... Um, of um, O'Brien that was. Oh, the people are the with the listing the way. And uh, so a free kick going to uh, Dean Butterworth. I couldn't quite see what that infringement was for, but uh, Dean Butterworth will take the uh, the free kick on the point of the square. This is Butterworth now. Just what is Butterworth as the ball comes in towards the um, edge of the centre square and it's marked here by $1.75, says <laughs> John Kelly. Thank you. That was Brad Clark, marked the ball for Cheltenham, brings the ball back in towards, on towards the centre wing. Jelloff takes it, handballs it out, no one's out there. Carney's in front, Dean Wall in there too. Carney grabbed his jumper, play on says the ump, stacks on the mill. And uh, uh, that was actually out of bounds, I thought, and it's on uh, down inside the boundary line. Meanwhile, play goes on, and uh, it's going to be a Collingwood Districts uh, mark to Beck, gets it over to Yeaman. Yeaman driving in towards centre half forward. Paul Fielding coming out and he's done a great job in this third quarter for Cheltenham, John. He has done a good job. He's, uh, he's been a tower of strength there. He spins under the left foot. Goes out in the direction of Mick Goodchild who takes a mark there. And there was a bit of a to-do on the boundary line here with uh, Kearney and uh, Dean Wall. The ball comes down to Monago. Monago takes a mark. He hand passes it over to his teammate. Is he going to get caught? Yeah, oh, he has. Slow, honestly. Too slow there. Chuck Yeaman's in there. Gets a hand pass over to uh, Taylor. Taylor runs through the centre. Whistle's but, um, going everywhere here. What's happening? The umpire's uh, called, uh, pulled up play, yep. and uh, it's going to go back. Well, the Cheltenham the players not talking to each other, John. Oh, that was story? terrible. There, this right? has happened about, uh, I'd say, six times in this quarter. Paul O'Brien. Uh, Probably should have kicked it. Could have kicked it three times, and uh, no one telling him what was happening. And uh, Dean Taylor will take the free kick. Dean Taylor for Collingwood Districts. 55 plays 45, and uh, there's the three-quarter time siren. And uh, at three-quarter time, Collingwood Districts 8755 leading Cheltenham 6945, a 10-point different, and. Uh, they kicked uh, six goals to... Southern FM, you've tuned in just to listen to the footy. Why don't you give the station a try during the week? 88.3, Southern FM services Melbourne Southern Suburbs. And uh, we have lots of fantastic programs. Uh, always a program for you at some stage. So uh, we're happy to send out a program guide. Double five six double four double six. give us a call. Here we go for the last quarter as umpire Steve Cullen bounces the ball. Mullinger taps it down for Collingwood District. Yeaman couldn't take it. Ball on the deck. Tapped forward there by uh, Cheltenham. Kearney working hard, but they're uh, taking it into their uh, defensive line, Collingwood District. And the umpire said that's going to be a ball up on the half-forward flank. Yeah, a bit stiff not to get a free kick there, Elvin. I thought that was a beautiful tackle there, and uh, mm. he didn't really make an attempt to get rid of that. O'Hare. Umpire David O'Hare bounces the ball. Up they go. 
Nobody gets a clear tap. Ooh, Hartley's in there. High. And uh, too high, says the umpire. He's had and a good game, Daryl. Arthur Hartley's done well. Done well. Awesome. And, uh, Arthur Hartley. <laughs> wonder when his next book's coming out. <laughs> Moo Hartley, as they call him. Former St Kilda City player. Will take this kick just inside the uh, the uh, 50 metre circle. I think he's played uh, well. Sean Britt's played a good game too for... Uh, yeah, I think uh, Fielding's been good for them yes. later and I thought that, uh, that Thomas has also done well. That's a pretty good That's kick by Hartley. Kick. It's not going to quite make the distance. Punched away in the last line of defence. Threw for behind and... Uh, Cheltenham now move along to 6, 10, 46, trailing Collingwood Districts, 8, 7, 55. As we see the uh, the ball to be brought back into play by uh, by Collingwood Districts, goes up the centre of the ground in the direction of... Um, of uh, can't see who that player was there, number 46, that's Harrison. It's uh, down towards a half forward oh. line there. Beck's in there for... Oh, thrown out the back of the pack there. Mm -hmm. By, uh, by Cheltenham player, that was um, O'Brien, uh, I think that was. That was the old Len Smith foot pass. Murray Salvador's in there, gets a nice hand pass over the top there. It comes in the direction of um, Taylor, was it? He set sail for goal, and what's he done? He's called all clear, and that's a goal. That's a beautiful goal there. That's a badly needed uh, one for Collingwood Districts, um, just to settle them down a little bit and to put the pressure back on Cheltenham. And, uh, and Taylor, it was very hard uh, to pick up Taylor's number there. He's wearing one of those old uh, yeah, it's, uh, ba uh, baseball or um, gridiron style numbers. and uh, shouldn't be allowed, simple up. as that. Very easy to fix. <laughs> well, it's I better than the one with texture colour on it. Yes, I suppose so. As the ball's back in the centre. Mellinger, they've had a terrific duel, these two. Um, and Jellif. Uh, in there was uh, number 44 there. Couldn't get it away for Cheltenham. That was Jamie Ross. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. So the pressure's back on Cheltenham now. 61 yes, leads 46. It's the last thing they wanted, John, was for Collingwood to get the quick goal. At, uh, Cheltenham had got the quick goal. They're in. But yeah, they needed that first one. Out to the ball. Jellif and Mullinger. Mullinger wins it. Coming out was Hockey. Low kick. O'Brien can't quite take it. His jump is held. Goes for the kick off the ground. Can't get it. Addison goes for the kick off the ground. He misses. Comes out here towards uh, Chant and... Uh, McConville. McConville and McConville will take the free kick for too high. He's kick up towards uh, Yeoman, and that's a very, very strong mark he in looks front of good. Terry McKinley. He looks a good footballer too, this Yeoman, yes. doesn't he? Yes, he's got the uh, right arm heavily bandaged from a broken hand about uh, two weeks ago. And he'll line up. He's already kicked three all in that third quarter. Not sighted uh, prior to half time. No, McKinley held him... Uh, Held him kickless basically in the first half and uh, just a little lapse in concentration and uh, comes in and I think he's hooked that. He has hooked it. In fact, it's well, hit, hit the behind post. Hit the top of the behind, but he should get yeah. uh, eight points for that. Well, it's certainly a uh, good kick into the breeze. Not yeah, a bad kicked, sort of hoof at all. He kicked it high. The wind dragged it straight across. There's uh, no one on the mark. McKinley runs off, gets a kick towards a half back flank. Oh. No, over the top there. Uh, Taylor couldn't take that for. Um, for uh, Collingwood Districts. Play on's a call. Let's kick there uh, in towards the centre of the ground, but uh, a mark taken on the wing position by McKinley, who's uh, not McKinley, McConville, who's played well since he's come on the ground. In there was King for uh, Collingwood Districts, but he can't get the ball out. Play on's a call. Taylor's in there. He spins nicely out of the pack. No, it's not Taylor, that's Harrison. He gets it across to uh, the vice captain Lane. in Carl Lane. He kicks it in towards a full four position there where a nice, uh, a good mark. Oh, I would have paid that mark. That was a mark to Terry McKinley. He, uh, he was the only one to touch the ball, but uh, umpire O'Hare said uh, he wasn't having any of that and called play on. So the uh, the ball is uh, to be thrown in. Half forward flank, uh, outer side of the ground uh, in Collingwood District's half forward line. Jelloff couldn't take the ball out of the, uh, the pack. Play on's a call. Over towards the boundary line and over the line for another throw in. It was Chris Chant that couldn't get hold of the ball there for uh, for Cheltenham. And uh, there's a bit of a hush come over the crowd. We're, uh, yes, it's very expectant at the moment. Because, we're right on uh, top of the uh, Cheltenham crowd here at the moment. So, yeah, uh, and I'll tell you what, they need to do a hell of a lot more. As Taylor they? punches the ball forward for Collingwood Districts. In there was, um, that was Taylor again, I think, for, no, that's uh, Beck. Beck gets a kick into the full forward line there, but uh, McKinley, safe in defence, takes a uh, timely mark. He's going to the outer side of the ground. Let's fly with a big uh, drop punt. And towards the uh, the square there. Taylor got a push in the back, but play on's a call. The ball comes out, the good child. He's on the wing. A driving kick down towards a half forward line. 
the uh, Dean Moore was held there, but uh, the umpire didn't he see was. it. Oh, uh, free kick uh, should have gone to Wall. Play on to call uh, number 44 held there. Jamie Ross. Not in uh, possession of the ball. He gets it onto the right foot. Uh, he slung as he kicks it, and it goes over the line and out of bounds in the forward pocket for Cheltenham. Well, either there's plenty of holding uh, of the Guernseys going on, or players are throwing their arms out to uh, try and earn free kicks. I'm not sure. But I thought that was obvious free kick. It was yep. right in front of Steve Cullen, too, and you could see the jump. We could see the jumper from here being held. Here's the throw in, not far away from the Cheltenham goal. Up they go. Knocked down there by Britt. Mullinger takes it though for Collingwood Districts on the rebound. Collingwood working hard to get it out, but it's handballed over the line and out of bounds. They uh, probably gained about three or four metres there away from their uh, Cheltenham goals. Big crowd over in that uh, forward pocket too, Dave. Oh, it's huge. There's the throw in. Mullinger straight back over the line and out. He's rucked all day tirelessly, hasn't he? Yep. Now, is that any deliberate than if you're running and knocking it over? Oh, I can't work that rule out. Eh? Waiting for the throw in again. In front of uh, a huge crowd in that forward pocket. Oh, oh got into the back of uh, his opponent then, Travis Mullinger. Rode him into the deck. <laughs> Why didn't he get a free kick? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I don't did. know. Mullinger uh, came over the top of... Um, Sean Britt and rode him into the ground and the umpire just let it go for a throw in. There's a ball thrown in again. Mallinger in there, he's had to run a bit for He punches it into the crowd again and it's uh, moved about five metres uh, further towards uh, Collingwood District's goal. Eight. Can I record over that? I might record the last quarter. The boundary umpire to bring the ball back into play. We've been playing just on seven minutes into this uh, final quarter and uh, 9-7-61 Collingwood Districts leading Cheltenham 6-10-46 and Cheltenham need a goal badly as Mellinger and, uh, uh, gets a knockout this time. It goes to Chuck Yeoman, gets a hand pass over the top but it's over the line and out of bounds, right on the uh, 50 metre line. Yes, you're quite right, John. If uh, Cheltenham don't get a goal shortly, it's going to be a very, very big ask for them. But Collingwood bottling that ball up in that uh, forward pocket, uh, half forward flank area over there. And that's they've attempted to do it again, knock it straight over the line and out. But this time Cheltenham volleyballed it back. They're running, ar running it around that forward pocket. But uh, finally coming out in defence was Harrison for Collingwood Districts. He drives it round to the half-back flank. Plenty of uh, Cheltenham players there. Nobody can take the mark. Racing in again was uh, Sean McConville for Collingwood District. Gets it over to Carl Lane and Carl's kick on this occasion over the line and out of bounds on the full. But, uh, cer certainly been a, uh, a very uh, a good player for uh, Collingwood today. Cheltenham now. It's Clark's got it. Brings the ball back inboard. Ooh. Looking for McKay. Over the back. Tapped ahead by Wall. Taken there. Uh, on Taylor. that occasion by Dean Taylor. Kicks it in towards the centre, and there's a Cheltenham mark to Addison, who's done a good job he's for them. Well. I think he's certainly been one of their better players, Campbell Addison. He has the ball on the centre wing. There's the kick. It's just uh, lobbing high. They've got no real system up there at the moment. Punched away by the Collingwood defence. Could get out of trouble here. That's um, uh, Butterworth coming out with it now for Collingwood District. He heads straight for the boundary line out there on that outer side. Beck in after it, but the ball beats him over the line and out of bounds. And uh, it's still Cheltenham, 6 10, 46, trailing Collingwood District, 9 7, 61. 15 points the difference, and uh, Cheltenham have a real battle on their hands to wrest this flag off the, off the magpies. The ball comes out now, out to Beck again. Beck feeds it across looking for uh, Leslie. Nobody can take it. Cheltenham working hard. Zachas has got it. Handballs it back. Finally, it's a kick straight up in the air. It's gone a million miles in the air. Waiting underneath it was Hockey, and uh, Hockey takes the mark there for uh, Collingwood Districts. This is Brad Hockey, and he's certainly within kicking distance. And I tell you what, another goal would just about break Cheltenham's back, I think. Yeah, it would, Darrell. That's going to be a very, very... He's got the wind blowing in his face. He's deep in the forward pocket there. What can he do with this? There's his he kick, and I tell you what, it looks like it's just carried a little bit too far. The goal umpire says it's mine. And um, that's uh, one behind only. Still, he's trying to electrocute us here, Daryl, I think. Trying to put us off air, I think. 6 10, 46 <coughs> plays 9 8 62 as McKinley brings the ball back into play for the Rosellas. Straight down the centre, high flyers wanted, but Mullinger does it for, uh, for uh, Collingwood Districts. And it's Travis Mullinger taking the mark. He certainly played a good game as he comes yep. in to kick the ball deep into attack. The wind holds it uh, up. Oh, underneath it was McConville and. Uh, he judged that. He, he, he just dived forward at the last minute as the wind pulled that ball up and uh, has taken a mark 40 metres out from goal uh, oh, on a 30-degree angle. He's made a bit of difference since he's come on McConville. He's given him a bit of fight on the half-forward line. Oh, he's run right into He's kicked it into the man on the mark, I think. The ball is taken by uh, Chris Chant. He gets a kick out towards the, uh, the wing position, leading in the race for the ball. Oh, look at him go. That's Phillips. A ton of speed there, Phillips. He can't pick it up. Oh, beautifully done. 
Good play. In towards centre half forward. It'll go over their heads. In there was uh, number 11. That's McKay. He gets onto the left foot, sets sail for goal, and he's put it through for Cheltenham's goal. Yes, that's a good goal. That's 7 10. 7 10 Cheltenham. That's uh, 52 points. Trailing Collingwood Districts 9 8 62. And we're uh, coming up to the 11 minute mark of this final quarter. And uh, geez, he's shown a, a ton of pace there, Mark Phillips. Uh, that, that was that a great piece wing. of play, John. Right round that outer wing, and he really showed some speed and uh, took on about two of them and just chased the ball up, and uh, it resulted in a goal for Cheltenham and a very, very badly needed one. They still trail by 10 points. Another quick goal now, and it's a real ball game. Yeah, I was just thinking how Collingwood Districts are doing a good job to hold Cheltenham out, and then uh, all of a sudden you get a sprint out of the... Uh, the pack and uh, forced in and gone through for goal. Ten points of difference. We're uh, you know we've got another ball game Bobby on our hands. Up they go from that bounce. Shellock gets a tap. Hartley runs out of the centre for Cheltenham. Steams in towards goal. I tell you what, the, oh, nearly bounced through from that kick out of the centre, just to the wrong side of the goal post and through for a behind. And that would have been sensational, John. Oh, that would have been a tremendous. That was um, Chris Chant kicked that, was it? Was it uh, New Hartley. Uh, Hartley was it? Yeah. But uh, oh yeah, that would have set the uh, the crowd alight for sure. Waiting now for uh, Barsley to bring the ball back into play for Collingwood Districts. Ops to the uh, stand side of the ground. Good child over the back, couldn't quite take the grab. Nobody can get it. Comes out here to Chant. Chant handballs the, the ball ahead of him, kicks it off the ground. He uh, got, got the free. ball another uh, 20 metres ahead anyway for Cheltenham, and it's on their half forward flank on the grandstand side of the ground in front of this huge crowd. Thought he was a bit stiff not to get a free kick there, Hartley, as the ball's thrown back into play. Mal Mullinger in the uh, ruck, but uh, over the top. Oh, Shark, lovely uh, oh. out of the pack there for Cheltenham by uh, Jamie Ross, but um, a wayward kick sees the ball over the line and out of bounds on the full. Had a bit of time then too, yeah, John. He did have a bit of time. and um, It's easy to say that up here, I know. But bit a uh, bit of pressure might have got to, yeah. uh, got to the boy. Just thought he could have uh, just about had enough time to steady there. Collingwood District, oh, he's gone, gone run around on the mark, Atkinson, as uh, he has a bounce. He's gone Barsley. for a kick. Uh, sorry, what, who was that? Doing? Barsley. Barsley it was, and yeah. uh, he's been pinged, and um, the free kick will go to Brad Clark for Cheltenham. Brad Clark's gone for the short, over towards Jane, um, yep. Jamie Ross, and uh, he didn't muck around with that. Now, Jamie Ross would be 25 metres out from goal. He's on a slight angle. He's got the bruise behind him, and this is a very, very important kick for Cheltenham. This will bring them within uh, three points of Collingwood Districts, and um, there's plenty of time. There's probably about 18 minutes to go. But um, here comes Brad Clark. Very deliberate in his run-up. Set sail, the goal umpire directly underneath it, and that's a goal to Cheltenham, and uh, you can hear the crowd, and that's uh, 59 plays 62. Okay. Today's grand final coverage is brought to you by Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services. For your complete mechanical service, including repairs, services and tunes, motors, suspension, brakes and roadworthy certificates, call 97 950188. Mulgrave Tire and Mechanical Services of 8 Overseas Drive, Noble Park, proudly supporting local football and Southern FM. And back here at Bentley, only three points the difference. Cheltenham 8 11 59. Trailed Collingwood District 9 8 62 as the ball's bounced in the centre. That's Shane Taylor taking it out of the centre for Collingwood District, but he's marked, the kick is marked by the uh, bandaged Mick Goodchild. He drives it down in towards the forward line. Nobody can take the mark for Cheltenham. Collingwood defenders feverishly tapping it forward. Lane has it. Finally comes out here now to Pequia. Pequia around to the outer side of the ground, but he's kicked it over and out on the full, and it'll be a free kick to Cheltenham. They play on immediately, bringing the ball inboard and bombing it in towards the goal square. Plenty of scragging going on, and finally it's Bardsley thumps the ball through for a behind, and Cheltenham edge one point closer. For Rosellas, 8-11. 60, that can't possibly be right. 8, 12, 60 is right. Thank you, scoreboard attendant. It's pretty quick on that Collingwood District 9, 8, 62 is... Uh, the ball is brought back into play, but the umpire says, no, we all weren't ready. Michael? There was undisciplined play out on that uh, half-back flank there by Collingwood District. So they kicked it out on the full. There was no one on the mark, and it gave the opportunity for the Cheltenham uh, player to run forward and put it in a better position. Only and nearly gold out of it. Only two points the difference. We're waiting now for uh, Travis Mullinger to come off. Is it Travis? No. no that's... Um, no. Taylor, is it? No. That's, uh, it's Dean Butterworth. Dean Butterworth. 
Dean Butterworth and uh, he's come off the ground and we're waiting now for Bardsley to, uh, to bring the ball back into play. Joplin supporter saying, come on, make him kick it. <laughs> After he kicked it, they made him bring it back. But he's looking for options, finally heads towards the outer side of the ground. He's got an option out there in uh, Shane Taylor. He couldn't quite mark it. Comes to the deck, a handball out here. Goes back to Shane Taylor, and his uh, scrubby kick along the ground goes over the line and out of bounds, and I think that's exactly where he wanted it to go. I'm sure he did, Daryl, as... Uh as we see the uh, the ball to be brought back into play, centre wing position, outer side of the ground as uh, Mullinger and Jelluff do battle. Mullinger out the top, he's had a ton of knockouts, goes down towards Chuck Yeoman, but he can't get to the ball before it's over the line and out of bounds. A bit of pushing and shoving there, but the boundary umpire will bring it back in. Only two points the difference, a magnificent grand final here as the ball comes back into play. Jelluff gets a thump towards the uh, Cheltenham half-forward boundary line, racing across there again was Philip Scott. This fella can really run, he's had one bounce, pinged in towards the goals as he put it through. Yes, says the goal umpire, he has, and the crowd goes mad as Cheltenham hit the front of the Division 2 grand final. Magnificent play there. And uh, Cheltenham edge ever so closely now to that premiership. And I said it was Phillips. It was, in fact, uh, Anthony Thomas. Whichever one I call it's the other one. But it was Anthony Thomas booted that uh, all-important goal for Cheltenham. They're back in front. The ball back in the centre again. Knocked out. Taken by Hartley. Hartley drives the ball down towards the full forward. Blaney over the top. Couldn't quite take the grab. Collingwood racing out in desperate defence. Over here towards Carney. And he's taken a very good mark. First with one hand and then grabbed it with the other. Ideal opportunity there for Cheltenham lost. Can Collingwood Districts come back now? They trail by four points. Up towards their full forward line. Tapped on. Here's a chance for Beck. He's an opportunist. Gets it straight over to McConville. McConville into the open goal. And he puts the Magpies back in front. This has developed into a sensational game, Del. Collingwood Districts now. 10-8-68. Lead Cheltenham 9-12-66. Once again, Cheltenham having that ball at half forward and letting it out too easily, John. Yes, they certainly did, and uh, you can't afford to do that in uh, finals, especially grand finals, and that's where they've got to, uh, they've got to have that little bit more concentration, and uh, they've got to work just as hard the backman as their forwards. As the ball's uh, back into uh, the centre of the ground, and we see umpire O'Hare. The chant going up for, uh, for Cheltenham. 68 plays 66. So we're uh, 18 minutes, 18 and a half minutes into this final quarter. Jelloff and uh, Mullinger, he's ruck well today. Taylor gets the ball out the centre for Collingwood. Kicks it up the centre half forward. Addison mopping up there for uh, Cheltenham. Gives it over towards Fielding. Fielding kicks it towards um, uh, Hartley. Hartley kicks it up towards us. Uh, full forward position there. Oh, big punch away there from uh, Collingwood Districts and the ball over the line and uh, out of bounds. Half forward flank for Cheltenham. John, I noticed when Cheltenham fly on that half forward line of the forward line, they don't appear to have little blokes scouting. They fly and if they miss it, Collingwood come out with the ball, and yeah. that's what's happened a lot since quarter time. Ball thrown back into play. Mullinger, oh, big punch. He's uh, he just about punched it out the ground. This will give him a, a few seconds just to, uh, to man up, and uh, Travis Mullinger, he's played a tremendous game for, uh, for Collingwood Districts. He's rucked all day, him and uh, Jelloff. I think he's had the better of Jelloff. He's taking a big run up this time. He goes for the big punch, gets down towards Chuck Yeoman. Chuck Yeoman, uh, oh, he did it quite well, actually, because any sort of a kick was going to go out on the full, and he uh, bundled it over the line and out of bounds for a throw-in. He stubbed his toe on the ground, as John Kelly said. Ball thrown back into play. Mullinger again. Knockout over the top there, picked up by uh, Thomas. He gets a kick in towards a full forward position, but it's just wide of the, uh, the goal post and through for a point. One goal three to Phillips today. Two two goals each to Sean Britt, uh, Arthur Hartley. And three to uh, for Yeaman. Bardsley to bring the ball back into play. Kicks it to the outer side of the ground. Oh, in there was uh, Taylor. Couldn't take the mark on this occasion. No, it wasn't. It was Piquier. The ball comes out over the top there to Jason King. He kicks it further upfield along the wing position. Oh, bounced off his chest there. 
in with uh, Fooling for Cheltenham. He couldn't take hold of the ball. It stacks on the mill, and uh, the umpire will come in and ball it up uh, just near the uh, the scoreboard, out of side of the ground, centre wing position, and uh, 68 plays 67. Collingwood Districts, 10-8-68, leading Cheltenham, 9-13-67. We're 20 minutes into this final quarter. Ball bounced down. Over the top was Taylor. He punches it over the line and out of bounds right in front of the Southern FM 88.3 sign, which is directly under the scoreboard. 68 play, 67. Ball thrown back into play. Jolliffe gets a knockout this time. It goes uh, about 10 yards towards their goal. Picked up there by uh, Hockey for uh, Collingwood Districts, but couldn't get it away. Comes across to Zarkas. Zarkas kicks it into the full for, uh, into the centre half forward position. Oh, a good bump there from uh, Britt. It's uh, going uh, Cheltenham's way through the agency of number eight, who was Mark Phillips, and uh, he had a quick kick for goal, but it's gone over the line and out of bounds on the full, and uh, free kick to Collingwood Districts. Goes for the short in towards Bardsley, who takes a mark on the chest about 15 metres further up the field. He's on the half-back flank for Collingwood Districts. Gets the, uh, the kick down towards a half-back line. A big pack of players fly and no one can take the mark. It's pulled in underneath the pack and the umpire will have no option but to, co uh, to come in and, uh, and uh, bounce the ball. Come on, deep, deep, deep. Umpire Steve Cullum. Bounces the ball. Right on the point of the, uh, the diamond end. Mullinger got another knockdown. It goes down to uh, Zarkas. Zarkas gets a hand pass there to... Uh, I think that was Britt. Kicks it in towards Bardsley, who takes a safe mark on the chest there for Collingwood Districts. And they're defending well. Goes for the right foot kick out towards uh, from whence it came. A big pack of players. No one can take the mark. It's uh, hand passed out of the pack there by Monago. No one there for uh, uh, except Mark Phillips for Collingwood Districts. But it's picked up there by uh, uh, Cheltenham and kicked in towards um, full forward. And they're, they're uh, defending brilliantly there. Uh, it was Bardsley. Keeney gets one in the back. Should have got the Driving free kick. Driving on it like it's rugby down there. It's really exciting stuff. Sean Keeney. Only a point the difference. Sean Keeney. Keeney. Cheltenham, 9-13-67. Trail Collingwood District, 10-8-68. Uh, I can understand his, uh, his disappointment going crook, Keeney. Then he uh, got a fair square push in the back as the ball's punched over the line and out of bounds. Forward pocket for Cheltenham. They're a point behind at the moment, and we're 22 and a half uh, minutes into this final quarter. It's anyone's game. Thrown back into play. Mullinger gets a big knockdown. Goes down towards McConville. Dives on the ball. Over the top of him. Cheltenham players and the umpire Steve Cullen will come in. They're uh, desperate. Very desperate in there, and uh, a big pack of players get off the deck as umpire Steve Cullen bounces the ball. It's about 45 metres out from uh, Cheltenham's goal on the half forward flank. Mullinger gets a knockdown, but it's Shark there by Goodchild. He got a push in the back, Peter Goodchild, but Payon says the umpire, and there's a uh, another pack of players. Chuck Yeoman's in there. Did I just Peter do talk out here before, John? Oh, I don't think so. Because uh, my thing dropped out and I couldn't hear you. I thought you'd just stop talking. I'm sorry about that. I've been plugged That's back all right, in. I'm going to bash you after. I've been plugged back in. <laughs> Bound to the ball, there's a push in the back here, and it's going Cheltenham's way. That's the first mistake he's made all day, Mullinger. Yep. He's uh, certainly been a great player for them today. There's no doubt about that. Cheltenham, 67. Collingwood District, 68. Sean Britt, the big fella for Cheltenham, has it on the half forward flank. He'd be, what would you say, he'd be kicking from about 48 metres yes, out. Yes, yes. And how, two goals. How's the time going, John? Uh, we're just coming up to 24-minute mark, uh, Darrell, of this final quarter. So not far away from time on is Sean Britt from Cheltenham. A very, very vital kick right off the side of his boot, but an opportunity for a Cheltenham mark if they're good enough. They can't. Nobody can mark it. Falls to the ground. Collingwood Districts, oh, they're there in numbers. They run it out of the uh, back line. This is um, uh, Pequia now. Right round of the centre wing. Kicks it high. Opportunity for Thomas over the back. He pumps it forward. Beck's in there. Could have nearly been held. Play on, says the ump. Comes out to Addison. Gutsy play. Gets a hand pass over here. Chopman working hard over on that centre wing. Taken here by Chris Champ. Champ drives the ball down and towards the half-forward line. There is nobody at all home. Now he's been kicked after he kicked it. It's downfield. Yeah, this just, will be uh, Clark takes the ball for Cheltenham now. Brad Clark. That was a silly play out there because he, he, his, the opponent had got the ball away. Um, it was always going to be on that it was Dan Furl if he slung him after he kicked it, and that's exactly what he did. Well, can Brad Clark make a real name for himself down Cheltenham way? Comes in, kicking from about 48. There's the kick. 
Won't make the distance into the goal square. Nobody can take it. Collingwood District's coming out again. They've been superb in defence, John. They have been. They uh, they really have not allowed Cheltenham any leeway at all across that half forward line. And uh, Cheltenham had so many opportunities to uh, to really seal this game. They've been unable to do so because of the pressure of the Collingwood defence. They've wasted some opportunities in this last quarter, Cheltenham. Yes, and wasted some earlier too. There's the throw in. Oh, Mullinger gets the tap again. We can't see what's happening in that pack of players. I can see it comes out to Bardsley. Comes around here to the uh, uh, half-back flank and it just beats Chris Chant over the line and out of bounds. Cheltenham trails by a point and I'd say we're just about into time on in this last quarter of the grand final. A throw in again. Blaney gets a tap. Taken by Clark. He's got nowhere to go. Handballs backwards. Snaffled here. In towards the goal square. Oh, Ross's jump is being held. This is where... Um, oh! A good tackle there by uh, the Cheltenham player on the Collingwood player. Good child in there, walking, twisting, turning. Slams it onto the left foot, up towards the goal square. They need a mark here. And Arthur Hartley said, yes, I'll be the fellow to take it. And he's marked it in the forward pocket for Cheltenham on a very, very severe angle. He's right on the boundary line, but he's only about 10 metres out. That was tremendous play from Mick Goodchild. And he dodged and ducked and weaved. He beat about three of them. He had uh, a couple of opportunities to hand pass it and kick it as uh, Hartley comes in. Oh, he's kicked it right across the face of goal, and it's uh, scores one level. Point. Scores are level. We might have. Did you tip this, Daryl? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> scores level at <laughs> about the 26 minute mark. Played 26 minutes and 50 seconds into this final quarter as Bardsley brings the ball back into play for Collingwood <laughs> Districts. He elects to go down the centre of the ground. In front was all over the top, and it should have been paid the mark. Yes, that was a roll. No play on the advantage is played. It comes out to McConville. Here come Collingwood. They've kicked it up towards a half forward line. Uh, no one could take the mark there. Cheltenham butter up nicely and gets it back to Mick Goodchild. Mick Goodchild takes the mark and he's on the uh, halfway between the half back flank and centre wing position. Oh, well over the mark there was a Collingwood player. It's up to centre half forward. Desperate there, but a top Taylor mark taken again. by Taylor. He's taken some strong marks uh, in the second half of this game. He'll slow the play down. He'll bring it around the swing position. He kicks it in towards uh, the half-forward line. Yeaman's up there, stood on his shoulders, couldn't take the mark. Underneath the bottom of the pack was number 30 there. That's Robert Mott. Picked up there by Zarkas for Cheltenham. Kicks it down towards centre half-forward. Pack of players and a good, strong mark. Oh, oh. Thought it should have been paid to uh, Taylor, was it? No, uh, paid Clark as the ball's hand passed out of the pack. It comes across there to... Uh, Collingwood, who's that um, poor slum oh, as he kicked it there? Like nobody can get it out. Oh, a big pack of players and uh, the umpire letting it go. Kicked off the ground by Collingwood Districts, but we'll see the ball over the line and out of bounds on the half forward flank for Cheltenham, right in front of the social club here at Bentley. Tell you what I don't know about the players, John, they will be exhausted after this. It's out on the half forward flank. Scores dead level in the dying moment to the grand final. Will we have a sudden death playoff? Coming out with Shane Taylor. Gets it over to Carney. Carney running around here looking for a... Uh, for uh, uh, McConville. Can't get it. In there after it's Zakis. He's pushed over the ball. Players call him for a free kick and gives one. I thought he was a bit stiff then, Zakis. Well, I think after all of the ones they've missed, to give one like that in this situation is poor umpiring. Yeaman, where Ferret Yeaman uh, kicks a uh, screw punt in towards the uh, full four or centre half four position. Cheltenham overrun the ball. There's a pack of players. It's hand passed out in the direction of number 34's O'Brien. He gives it to his teammate. A good kick down towards okay. the centre half four. That's a booming kick. It's on the half forward line for Cheltenham. Chris Chance in there for Cheltenham. He can't get the ball out, and Steve Cullen will come and ball it up. And that was exactly the same thing that he gave a free kick yep. for down there. Yep. yep. <laughs> Bounce to the ball by Cullen. We're all getting excited. Up they go. Taylor takes it out of the pack. Quick in here, King. King marks. Plays on. Ooh. 10. Oh, he's, he's playing them all on his own. Over to Mullinger. Mullinger takes it now from this centre wing down towards centre half forward, and it's Beck drifts across and takes the mark for Collingwood. It's the Magpies in attack. They kick up towards uh, full forward. Up high was Thomas over the back oh, and took a mark. screamer. That's a, that's a saviour of ever off. That's a Sirakoski <laughs> mark from 66. <laughs> I tell you what, there was two Collingwood players, and uh, I think the bell's gone. It has. The too. siren's gone. The siren's, the siren's gone. gone, and we have a tied score. Da, in his uh, interview with the umpires before, said, "What happens if it's a draw? There is extra time, and we will have extra time for the first time Does in the Southern Football League Grand Final. There will be five minutes each way." Well, how about that, Darrell? He had no hope of marking that ball. There was McConville, 
and uh, I couldn't pick up. I think it might have been Yeoman there, and he come straight over the top. That was Mark, Captain Mark Phillips, as you call him, yes. and he's taken that screamer of a mark about five seconds before well, that was, the That was Thomas goal. that took the big grab Thomas, there. was it? Yes, there. That was Anthony Thomas took that... Uh, took that big grab at the end. If Collingwood and District's got a mark there, there, they win the game. Yeah. Simple yeah. as that. And, uh, oh, that was a sensational yeah. mark. So, so there's a hush come over the crowd. Confusion reigns supreme, and you could hear a pin drop. <laughs> this is amazing. It is It is 9.14 to 10.8, uh, uh, 68. 68 points apiece. We have a tied score at the end of the Division Two Grand Final. And the goal umpires have waved the flags and said, yes, the scoreboard is correct. There will be five minutes extra time each way. We're going to take a short break, catch our breath, breath and be back shortly. Overseas Drive, Noble Park. And we're back here in the centre for the five minutes each way. Extra time for the first time in a Southern Football League Grand Final. The ball's bounced. Cheltenham have now swapped ends. Kicking against the breeze as Collingwood Districts work it forward. Racing down around that outer side of the ground now. Hockey in over the top of the ball. Nobody can pick it up. That's Fielding trying to get the ball out. Nobody can. And it'll be balled up right out there in the centre wing near the scoreboard. Who would have thought this would happen, John? Oh, I don't know, Daryl. It was uh, was touch and go there, but it um, was always going to be pretty tight. But I thought um, I thought there'd be an eventual winner. Is there any time on with this five minutes? I uh, know. I think it's five minutes flat each way, I think. Cheltenham take the ball now. It was uh, Phillips, I think, coming out of uh, defence. And uh, Tony Monago takes the mark for Collingwood District. He's uh, for uh, Cheltenham. He's right on the uh, 50 metre line. We're not excited. He chips it across to uh, Sean Britt. And Sean Britt takes the mark. He's just inside the 50 metre line, but a little bit squarer onto goal. And you're hearing this on Southern FM 88.3, Daryl. Yes, the very first time there's been a tied score at the end of a grand final. I was going to say earlier when DA was talking about it, well, if ever there could be a tie, it could be today. <laughs> I thought I won't be so silly. As uh, <laughs> Britt uh, would be, or oh, he'll kick from 50 metres out uh, into a stiff bruise, so uh, in he comes. He gives it all he's got there. In towards the full forward line. No one can mark it. It's sharked off the bottom of the pack there by Monago. And Monago has what? kicked a goal. Tony Monago came off the interchange bench. And he's kicked a goal and they've been playing one and a half minutes of this extra five minutes. And that is a very, very handy uh, goal into this breeze. The crowd have gone berserk in front of us here. They're all Cheltenham supporters in front of us here. And here goes the chance for Cheltenham. What a game, what a crowd. This is absolutely sensational. And that idiot, that idiot John Anderson who wrote in the paper the other day that local football's dead. Oh, uh, he probably just, hasn't been to a game He must have seen in ivory boxes all his life. As the ball comes down here, oh, through the centre was uh, Taylor, but he's kicked it uh, straight down uh, Peter Goodchild's throat at the true centre half back position. Now, Peter Goodchild, which way will he go? He's elected to go to the outer side of the ground. He kicks it uh, probably 30 metres over the centre of the ground. Oh, up oh. Was, uh, number 40 there. Jason King, is it? Yep. No, it's uh, not. It's no, um, it was, uh, Harrison. Matthew Harrison, yeah. Played a pretty good game early. Faded out a bit in the third quarter, I thought. Goes for the big torpedo punt down towards the half forward line. There's a pack of players there, but it's punched to the bottom of the pack. A Cheltenham player's there got it, but I can't see him. He's nearly had his number ripped off. He gets a hand pass away, but uh, umpire Steve Cullen comes in and will ball it up as the breeze stiffens here at Bentley. Cheltenham lead by a goal. 10-14 to 10-8, and we've played uh, two coming up to three minutes of this uh, first part of uh, a five-minute time on. Now, listen, John, when we're late home tonight and, and the wives go crook, <laughs> are they really, really going to believe us? They might have to turn the training lights on. <laughs> <laughs> waiting for the uh, throw in right out here on the uh, centre wing this is great stuff everybody on the edge of their seats here tap down nobody can take it kicked off the ground by Chopman oh they're uh, playing well into this breeze now kicking the ball right to half forward where Chris Chan takes the mark good football there by the Rosellas Trying to see, that was uh, Paul O'Brien that got the ball up to Chan on that occasion. Kick. Chance big kick, looking up there for Jamie Ross. Ross flies high, can't quite take the mark. And the ball, the ball's going to be balled up uh, about 12 metres out from the Cheltenham goal. They're a bit happier now, the uh, the Cheltenham crowd. They've got a bit of a smile on their face, and they, so they should have too. They're leading by a goal, and they're kicking into this bruise as the ball's bounced. It comes out towards uh, Taylor there for uh, Collingwood Districts, but... Uh, the players claimed, and uh, actually the game settled down a bit. It's not as thoughtful as it was early in the first half. I think both sides have settled down. I think they, they realise it's footy. a bit more important now. They've, they've got a game to win. Yeah, that's true. That's true. As uh, umpire O'Hare. It's, uh, it's on the edge of the 10-yard square there at uh, the Cheltenham goal. And uh, oh. that was Taylor, wasn't it? Had the ball. No, Jamie Ross. He gets it out to uh, his teammate there in uh, number 34. That's O'Brien. But he was caught with the ball and uh, made no attempt. And it's a free kick to uh, Taylor, I think it is, for... Um, 
Um, no, it's not. It's uh, Piquier for uh, Collingwood Districts. He goes in short in towards McConville. Couldn't oh, take one out. Goes over to Peter Goodchild. He gets a hand pass to Chris Chant. Under that left foot, in towards a full forward line. Oh. All beaten all players. And then uh, leading in the race for the ball was Jamie Ross, but he couldn't pick it up. It uh, comes across there to uh, Harrison for Collingwood Districts. He gets it out towards... Uh, that was Lane, but he couldn't take control of the ball. Picked up there by uh, Britt, I think that is. He gets it over the top. Oh, and a fingertip. A play on's a call. Yes, I could see. Uh, I don't think he marked that, Sean Britt. And uh, it uh, just got the fingernail underneath it. Very, uh, very, very nail-biting stuff here at Bentley. A tied score at the end of uh, normal time. We're playing extra time here, and we're in the first five minutes of that two lots of five-minute extra time. The ball's tapped down, goes to Shane Taylor. Shane Taylor kicks it high up towards the centre wing. Greg Clark has played a good game for them, John. Yes. Uh, played a great game, in fact, has taken the mark on the centre wing. Well, that first five Brad minutes Clark. is up by me. Is it? Brad Clark kicks it in. Oh, that's got to be a... Eh? Play on, says the umpire. Uh, Collingwood District's coming out of uh, defence now. In towards centre half forward. Zach has couldn't quite take the mark. Grabbing it there for two. Mechanical services of 8 Overseas Drive, Noble Park. Proudly supporting local football and Southern FM. And back at Bentley, the ball has been bounced straight into the second lot of five minutes. Extra time, it's Cheltenham by a goal in the Division 2 Grand Final. And nobody can get the ball out of the centre again very some uh, some tired players out there now this will prove uh, which side's the fittest oh we need now's a goal to Collingwood District <laughs> thank you very much and we could be here all night well, <laughs> bounced again they go Mullinger get his uh, fourth out and tap out for the day but it comes back out here to Sean Britt in there after it's Tony Monago Carl Lane's in after it Cheltenham coming through who's this uh, Phillips firing away at goal it's just gone to the wrong side of the post and through for one behind only and that could be a very, very handy point, uh, Darrell. That could, uh, that's two kicks, two kicks uh, or two goals. Collingwood Districts have got a kick now as Bardley, Bardsley brings the ball back into play. It's a good kick out towards the half-back flank there. Picked up for uh, by Peckware. He can't get his kick away. It's picked up there by uh, Phillips again, is it? He gets oh. a kick towards uh, the centre half back position, but Keeney takes a mark. He plays he's on. Well. He's had one bounce, he's had two bounces. He goes for the short kick over towards McConville. He didn't take the mark. He's got the uh, the short haircut, kicks it in towards his teammate there, and a good mark was uh, taken by number 40. That's uh, Jason King. Jason King uh, just short of the centre wing position. Member side of the ground. Kicks the ball up towards the uh, half-forward line. Kearney over the top, couldn't take the mark, but a great mark in the field taken by uh, Terry McKinley, the full-back. He's done a terrific job on uh, Farad Yeaman. Terry McKinley now. He'll kick it as long and as hard as he can. He kicks it towards a half-forward line. Up there was uh, Cheltenham. No one could take them out. They're tired. The ball goes towards the boundary line. That's kept in play. In there was... Um King was it? And uh, well, there's a big pack of players and it's brushed over the line and out of bounds. We don't know who they are, but there's a whole bunch of them there. <laughs> that breeze uh, getting up to it's uh, what have we got? We've got seven points of difference. Half forward flank there for uh, Cheltenham. The ball's punched towards their goal. In there was uh, Carl Lane, the vice captain. There's a chance, comes for, here, Cheltenham. A chance here for Cheltenham. Oh, punched the ball over, and it's good night. Collingwood has number eight. Mark Phillips rushes in and has kicked it out of the ground, and he's kicked their goal. Mark Phillips puts Cheltenham now 13 points in front. Could be the end of the penny section after a magnificent grand final here at Bentley. As I say, biggest crowd I've ever seen at this ground. And uh, what a fantastic game of footy we've seen. Cheltenham 11 15 81, leading Collingwood District 10 8 68. And this game has, been, has just had everything. Had some things that we wouldn't have liked to have seen, but uh, it's had the lot. Cheltenham recovering, I think. Collingwood uh, came out in that third quarter. Slamming on the goals and holding Cheltenham down. It looked like they were going to go on with a job. Chelt came back. Scores were tied at the end of normal time. We've played two lots of extra five minutes. We're in that second lot now as Steve Cullen bounces the ball. 13 points the difference. Tony Jellock wins the tap out for Cheltenham. Comes out for Sean Britt. Get a minute and a half, Daryl. Thank you. Over there, Paul Fielding missed a kick off the ground, but a hand pass back out toward Pritt. It's all Cheltenham. Monago takes it. Monago gets it over to Hartley. Hartley slams it down towards the forward line. Nobody can take the mark. Comes out towards Clark. Clark handballs over his head to McKay. Lucks a fortune, but oh, it bounces away from him in the end. Collingwood District's working hard in defence. Coming through there was uh, Blaney. Blaney casually puts the ball under the left foot. Steers it through for a goal. And ladies and gentlemen, it is all over here at Bentley.
Bradley. Cheltenham will win the 1995 Division Two Premiership. That's another goal, and they move along now to 12, 15, 87, leading Collingwood District 10, 8, 68. Great play, John. Oh, a tremendous goal at Darrell, and uh, I reckon if he tried to do that another 10 times, he'd kick it once. It was a beautiful goal. He was on his wrong foot. He was deep in the forward pocket. He let fly, and there would probably be about 50 seconds of this uh, of this match to go, and uh, Cheltenham have it safe in their keeping. They're uh, 12, 15, 87, leading Collingwood Districts, 10, 8, 68. As Jelloff gets the, uh, the knockout, Mullinger in there, he's tried hard all day. There's a pack of players, it's like a rugby scrum, and the umpire will come in and ball it up. 87 plays 68, and uh, about 30 seconds left in this game. Tremendous game of football here at Bentley. Jelloff gets a knockout, it goes in the direction of um, uh, Taylor, that was for Collingwood Districts. He kicks it wide out to the wing position. Um, Addison, he's played a good game. He butters up beautifully again, but he can't get rid of the ball there. Play on's a call from the umpire. It's uh, Chris Chant in there. He, he's running the ball down the uh, half forward line. He's still in there. He gets a left foot kick. It's gone about 55 metres. A goal. Oh, no, he's no. just missed it. He's just missed it. That was a tremendous kick. He followed it up beautifully then, Chris Chant. And uh, they've stopped to a walk, uh, Collingwood, because the game's gone. So it's just a matter of time now as uh, Bardsley brings the ball. He goes down towards the centre. Taylor's there. Hasn't he this bloke leaves. played a good game? He nearly leaves it uh, for the old lever trick. Jelloff uh, can't get the ball away. In there was Thomas. No one can uh, get a clear break away as umpire O'Hare comes in. And uh, yes, I think it's... Uh, just prepare yourself for an time. almighty roar here. We're going to get drowned out. Uh, whatever happens. Paul Fielding coming off the ground. Of sheer guts and determination got us through. It was unbelievable. What do you want to say about your captain, Mick Goodchild? They really cop one. Well, I think everyone cop one, but he cop probably one of the best. He went off, dish and one back, but um, it was the toughest game I've ever played in. Um, Mick was marvellous. Everybody was totally marvellous. We had players at the ball. It was just one of those things we've been trying to get involved all, all year. We let, that, let ourselves down in the semi-final and as I say, we all come together. We're a good side. We just needed to be tough today and we were major. Well, good luck in first division next year and congratulations on your own game. Enjoy tonight and the next week. Thank you very much. We definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ray. That was Sean and Brett who played a fantastic game. Back to you, Daryl. Thank you very much, DA. Uh, yes, he pretty did. Pretty happy too, Daryl, wasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Funny that. He did play a great game and uh, we got to, uh, to Arthur Hartley, I thought, did well. Um, Mick Goodchild, well, he was just uh, his normal gutsy inspiring self at Cheltenham and I think when he uh, when he got flattened out there and came up with blood streaming down him and went back out with a bandage around his head I think the sight of him
Todd Phillips. Johnny Ross. Thank you. 